snipped it off this end. So that gives you one end of the clasp. And you do exactly the same for the other end, but um, I won't put the gemstone on. To make the hook, fold a piece over, squidge it using your bell making pliers, you twist it round and then you twist that, snip it off, push your gemstone up and do another wrap loop and Amazing. turn it over so that it matches so and you can loop it through. Yep, yeah, so you've got those. What a fantastic finale to the masterclass. Mel, thank you. Your first, it was Mel's first masterclass, everybody. <laughs> We're gonna go off for a quick break. Zena will be up with you next and we'll see you on the other side of this. I'm so sorry, we had to wait for Michael Wolf to do his hair. <laughs> we had to wait for Michael yeah. Wolf to do his hair. My hair. Yes. <laughs> Good morning. Now, for those of you that don't know me, because I've not been on a morning show since the 3rd of April with the lovely Jake since um, lockdown, before lockdown. So, if you don't know me, my name is Zena. And I am very excited to be on the morning show this morning. It's my favourite show. I love it. I love it. I love it. And today, we get to do the Wall of the Fame draw. Don't we? Oh, yeah. Very excited. That lady over there is the glamorous, the gorgeous cougar of jewellery maker, Ooh. Gemma Crow. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. You resemble that remark, don't you, Gemma Crow? I like being the cougar yeah, of jewellery You maker. like being the cougar, don't you? <laughs> yeah, it's our lovely Gemma Crow. Now, Gemma Crow this morning is very excited because you know what she got given this morning? And, uh, do you know what she got given? She walked in, she sat down, producer Liam goes... Would you like our 10 a.m. Larry Marshall this morning? You can have that. She went a little face. She went, well, that's a nice start to the day, isn't it? Oh, lovely. Larimar rounds. It's so gorgeous. Isn't it? It's, I mean, that is absolute perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, Larimar. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. The sky blue yeah. with those wispy cloud effects, which is one of the most sought after Larimars mm. on the planet. Absolutely. And we have it live at 10 a.m. this morning on the morning show. Also... Do you, do you see these? Now, Gemma has just, we just said to Gemma, what price, you th these are the deal of the day at 11 a.m. this morning. We said to Gemma, what price? Now, we don't like to talk about price when it comes to uh, pearls, do we? But look at those. I think the thing we all notice about those pearls immediately is they are the highest luster. And obviously, luster in a pearl is really, really desirable. We have a very limited edition deal of the day today. Um, Gemma, what price did you say, sweetheart? I said, I thought around the 44 95 mark. Okay, and you, that we, asked you, we asked Gemma for an honest price, an yeah. honest, not a, what do you think it is to make it look better when we drop it, no, a genuine price, you said 44 95 mm. Yeah, I, yeah. I, thought, I thought about 49 95 Yeah. Oh, so we were about a fiver out. And the good news is, way better. Yes. I'm not allowed to say what, obviously, with the deal of the day, but way more affordable, okay? And there are only 147 though, but we do have silks. And we have the last, we've only got to a few. We're gonna see what we can do, aren't we, Liam? These, this talk of the town pearl spray is wonderful. I'll talk you all about it. Yeah, it was your very own butler look, perfect pearl spray. So if you love pearls, you wanna get the talk of the town pearl spray. Okay, we'll talk about that later, all right? Those, can I say one more thing about these pearls? Gemma, mm -hmm. can I just say, have you felt the weight of these? But they're really, oh, yeah. have you felt? Oh, by the uh, way, oh. I have these too. Oh. <laughs> Is it it's her birthday? What a day. Is what it a Gemma day. Gemma's birthday? I'll tell you what, Gemma, you're glad you came in today, oh, yeah. aren't you? I am, I am. We're she getting is, up oh, yeah. at um, silly o'clock. So let me just show you the pearls with the Larimar, if I may. If I may. <laughs> 
<laughs> all right, so, on, uh, uh, so we've got Liam producing today because uh, we've got the lovely Paul directing and we've got our lovely Tom Neary looking after us all day. He's not, well, he's doing a grand job, isn't he? <laughs> it's, it's not because they're not working, it's because they're so busy, they don't get a chance to sit in their chair. Mm. So, these are your amazing La Ramar, and I do mean amazing. Those are your perfect textbooks, stunning. And don't they look adorable together, the pearls with that high lustre and the La Ramar? They look amazing together. They do, don't they? Yeah. Now, I've got something that might just add beautifully to the whole selection as well, look. Because coming up, look, in literally 10 minutes, we've got this early bird treat. We might do it in a moment. Well, should I tell you what, Lim, should we not wait? You don't, do you know what, on the early bird, can I just say, you don't see a bird come into your garden and sit there, see the food and then go, I'll just wait 10 minutes. They're in. They're in for the food and the worms. So I'll tell you what, should we do it now? Should we give you your early bird special? Mm -hmm. See, I've not seen these new stings because obviously I've not been on the morning show. I'm normally on the late show. Isn't that pretty with all the feathers? Lovely, isn't it? Um, right, now we've all been talking in the... Um, I, was the first, I was the first one in the building, didn't I? 6 a.m. Really? Yeah, first one in the building. Yeah. me. I didn't wet the bed. Everybody said, when, when have you come in early? They go, did you wet the bed? <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway, we were talking this morning about these matte gemstones. And we were all saying, as it, we all love them here. This gives you this powdery effect. Don't you think? Yeah, they almost glow, don't they, they do. when they're like that? They do. They're lovely. And I think that that just changes the whole look. We're used to shiny gemstones, aren't we? We're used to that. And it's so lovely as a jewellery maker to get to work with different gemstones. Gemstones that we know and love. Beryl is one of the most famous gemstones fam fam families. We had those beautiful emeralds on the Late Show yesterday that you adored. They're part of the Beryl family. But that, what I love about these, this is like a dusting. And again, do me a favour, please, what I want to get across to you on these, if you've never tried them, is they look, to me, I think they look a bit like they could be a bit gritty or a bit rough. They're not. The, thank you, you've just said this. They're so smooth. Yeah, they've got like a sea glass like, feel, like, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, like a waxy feel, haven't yeah. they? And we were saying the other day, yeah, those, we have those green line jaspers that are wonderful for the planetary bracelets. And these could be like the solar system. But for me, look, that, that, that pastel tone of that matte finish on the aquamarine and the morganite particularly. And I'll tell you what, the goshenite, the goshenite there, I think this is one of the, one of the prettiest, prettiest beryls. Now also, let's just remember, these are 10 mil rounds. It's a 38 centimetre strand, so you're going to get a mini... Look at that gorgeous golden beryl. Is it Elaine? They are almost glowing. Elaine, can we give Elaine the first message of the day? Round of applause. There you go, Elaine. You're the first person to message him. All right, Michael. <laughs> I've missed him. Oh, I've missed that boy. I can take him home with me. Mm. Oh, no, you're right. I'm missing that much. <laughs> I'm missing that much. Anyway, the early bird. What we do about the early bird is we give those of you that have, uh, that have uh, got up nice and early this morning, because it is early, we are going to give you a corker of a price, according to Liam. So, Liam, there are, it's a brand new strand. There are 98 chances. I tell you what, let's wake you up with a start, shall we? Shall we? 10 mil, beautiful aquamarines, beautiful morganites, goshenite. I love the goshenite on there in the white. They're lovely. Because Beryl is... Oh, you. Wow. You. Yeah. That's not what it says there. Lower. Woo! Oh, well, then, can we, should we have a shout out to the morning early gang? Shall we? 
So we have got a Collector in London buying two, Hertrude buying two, Sue J, Jenny buying two, Angela, Julie, um, Collector Elizabeth, Beverly D, Tracy, Collector Lynn, oh hello, Carola, good morning, Margaret, good morning, Linda, Collector Maggie, Elaine, it's just about to get them, Elizabeth's got them, congratulations, would you like them to see them on my body? <laughs> of course you would. Do you like them Gemma? They're just absolutely gorgeous. They are, yeah. aren't they? Really lovely. It would be lovely to see them alongside this, a similar, you know, um, shape, but that's polished. Do you yes. know how you mix up the textures? Well, I'd love to see these. If you got some of our um, clarity beryl or the shiny beryl and you mix them all up together in the same design. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. It'd be lovely. Hello, Michelle. Hi, Zina and T. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning. That strand will be perfect for next year as the Pantone colours are baby pink and baby blue. Wow. Are they? Mm -hmm. How do you know that, Michelle? Oh, Michelle, you're on it. Thanks. There you go. And also, let's face it, while people have been in lockdown, those of us that could, I'm not speaking for myself, actually, I'm out of it. Baby boom, they're, project, they're, they're predicting for next year. That's not mm. me, I'm not, it's not me, I'm, no. Nah. Can you imagine? Ugh. Anyway, um, yeah, so baby boom, just saying. Uh, Kathy says, I'll just get off that subject quite quickly. Zena, so good to see you on the morning show. Oh, thanks, I'm so excited, I'm so excited, it's like Christmas Day. We are going to have some fun this morning, Kathy. We are, we are, honestly, we're so excited. So, is it Poppy? Oh, hang on, Angela, Angela's, um, Zena, what time are the Larimar coming up? Uh, Angela, 10 a.m. 10 a.m., darling. 10 a.m. Poppy, this will be you for you, Michael. Hello, lovely Zena and Gemma, and of course, I told you, the wonderful Michael. Where's... Now, this is awkward the other day. <laughs> Michael, what, why you weren't here, Michael, right? Mm. Michael, I was talking to Poppy about the relationship about you two and her husband. What's that next time? What's... It was a bit That's awkward. Pretty awkward, isn't it? Yeah, it was a bit awkward. It was a bit awkward. And yeah, I, had to, yeah. I had to dig myself out of a hole, didn't I, Poppy? Do you remember? I was digging, wasn't I? Like that. <laughs> I was. Um, 11.95. Right then. Just quickly, could I... Could, I'm just a bit worried about Lisa Babs. Collect... Uh, do you mind me calling you Babs in Dorset? Mind you in Dorset. Would you prefer Barbara? Mm. Yes, my stepdad lives in Dorset. It's quite posh down there. Uh, Lisa, Collector Barbara, Heather, Victoria, Maggie, Elaine, Collector Linda, Heather, and the list goes on. Do... There's two Heathers, actually. My first dog was called Heather. And my, my last dog was called Gemma. Mm. <laughs> Gemma the dog. <laughs> I loved my dog. That's why I love Gemma Crow, because I love my dog. Alsatian, she's beautiful. I love my dog. No, I'm being serious. <laughs> I, tell you what, I, I accidentally nearly got close to you the other day, didn't I? When you we did. took that two and a half metres of ground up. Where's my step? Yeah, do you want? Do you, hang on, yeah. Give Gemma the ruler because <coughs> yeah. I forgot myself. Got and too excited, didn't you? Just came out. Just came out my lap. <laughs> I had that my... in my lap. But now we've got because we've got pearls. Because did you see? She just like the Mary Poppins out the bag with the cheese plant, wasn't it? <laughs> um, we have got because we've got. Now are these the magnetic or the? Um, the screw ones. Oh, I found these for the first time. Yes, I'd never seen them before. We had the silver one yesterday, didn't we? So, these are the terribly posh to go with our beautiful pearls today, darlings. Yes. We have got rose gold plated, darling, 95 sterling silver. And the yellow gold plated, sterling silver. Mm. They'd look lovely with the Larimar. The mm -hmm. And the pearls. And the beryl. That's a good idea. And can you imagine those? Look, see, yeah. So these are new to me. New to me are everything, the sweetest thing that I can sing, oh baby. This is a screwball. Sounds a bit weird, doesn't it? A screwball clasp. Now, what it, obviously, it says what it does on the tin. Oh, it does what it says on the tin, even. So what this does is gives you this fabulous designer. Oh, 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 oh Gemma Crow. They're gorgeous, aren't they? Oh, Gemma Crow just went all gooey over them then, didn't you? Did yeah, you just go gooey? That is like the right calibre of uh -huh. clasp, isn't but it? These, yeah. To go with those pearls oh, and it? with the Larimar. Now, what this does is they, right. it screws apart. Let me show you, look. So if you want added security, right? Can you see you've got, there's a the little screw peg there. 
you just connect together and it, look at that. So you have got a really secure clasp. I believe either Michael has got a string on his arm that's been pulled up by some unknown person in the ceiling, or he has a question. It's for those people with pacemakers who miss out I on was just, you are so right. You are so right. Yes, he's doing a happy dance because he's chuffed with himself. Quite right. Now, when we have the magnetic class, we have to say, don't we, if you wear or know somebody that wears a pacemaker, we do ask you to check with the manufacturer because the magnet may, don't say it will or it won't, you have to check with the manufacturer because we want you to be safe. It may affect the, the functioning of the pacemaker. So, for a lot of you have been saying, well, I really want the cubic zirconia sparkly ball class, but I can't do it with it. So... There's yours, and super secure, because and the, the mechanism of the screw, it's so beautifully made, it's effortless. Nice size loop on either side, and as, as... I'll put that on, that's hilarious. Put that, who was that? Liz, hmm. she said screwballs. A screwball is not new to me. I live with one. <laughs> ah, you're talking about the car. Liz! Liz, you're so naughty. Okay, darling. Right, so if uh, with it, obviously the pearls. The pearls coming up, these beautiful high luster pearls do do suggest that you need a posh class, don't they, don't they darling? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Oh, hello. oh hi. <laughs> so, just thought if you're awake. <laughs> <laughs> the C's are a bit unsteady in the studio this morning. So there you go, look, just a simple, um, just a simple unscrew, yeah? And look how easy this is, right? Just pop it into position, she says. Four grams of silver! It's because I've got my, there you go, there you go, content, there you go. And the sparkle in that cubic zirconia, which is designed to look like flawless diamonds, with these amazing deed of the day high luster pearls, Fourteen ninety five again. Fourteen ninety five. Now the gold is for everybody multi buying. It is a lovely buttery shiny gold, that isn't it? It is. It's beautiful. It's a really beautiful clasp. So fourteen ninety five on the super 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 duper sparkly gorgeous cubic zirconia. Thank you, Michael. Now you're probably wondering with these pearls whether we do have wire tip guardians, sterling silver, and silk. Of course we do. Of course we do in the Talk of the Town Pearls Pro, of course we do. So, you can keep checking out, okay, these beautiful class, just because we're moving on, it's because we're stacked with treats for you this morning, absolutely stacked, aren't we Gemma? We are. And I think we've given them all to Gemma. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Actually, Gemma's not complaining yeah. at all. <laughs> now then, um, where are they darling? Oh, that's what I thought I heard. Yeah, Gemma was like that. Boulder. Oh, poor. Now, those are going to go with the Laramie. Lara, just exactly what I was thinking. Yeah. We have got one of the rarest opals on the whole of our planet. Boulder opal. Now, I would urge you, if you've never tried a Boulder opal before, use your 60-day money-back guarantee. It's extended to 60 days, especially at the price we're doing this morning. And let me just show you with the Laramie, because what happens with Boulder opal, when you get the Boulder opal home, you won't see it's all in the studio, there are colours, there are lightning ridges of this Larimar colour within your Boulder Opal. And to get Boulder Opal rounds and Larimar rounds, it is like Christmas Day. Isn't it? We've got the most stunning amber kits coming up. We've got Boulder, 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 Boulder. <laughs> we've got Boulder Open, we've got Larimar rounds, we've got High Lust, lust I can't speak, mm. I'm too excited. High Luster, High Luster Pearls at 11 a.m. and uh, we've even got kyanite. Mm-hmm. Oh, I snatched them away a bit then, didn't I? Sorry. Boulder opal, rare, beautiful, rounds of boulder opal in 10 minutes, all right? 10 minutes. And do message in today, 60777, start your text with JM Studio, or you can live message, thank you, Paul, through the uh, app or through the uh, website. Whatever you fancy. Now, would you like some microfaceted shiny barrels to go with the matte barrel? Yeah, go on then. Yeah, go on then, Gemma says. Let's have a look. Gemma's having together. such a lovely play over there with her goodies. I am. Aren't you? <laughs> I am you indeed. Are, are you? I'm trying to think what, what should I do with them? What should I do? Oh. So. 
you know the lovely thing is, Gemma? We have absolute faith in you because you never let us down. Oh, no never. pressure. <laughs> no pressure. You've never let us down yet. It is early. I don't usually do this shift. So. You don't need no. Neither do I. We're both a bit shocked this morning when, when my alarm went off. <laughs> this morning? Yeah, 5 a.m. It was a bit of a. My dad, I left my dad's house this morning. It's the first time I've stayed away from home since March. Stopped at my dad's house because he lives down the road. And even he said, I took him a cup of tea in uh, about half five. And he went, Why so early? <laughs> I said, because it's the, because I'm going to work, Dad. Oh. No, he was awake. I heard, him, I heard him get up and go to the toilet. I wouldn't have woken him up. Twelve ninety-five. He's a, he's a, he, he, he just he gets up really early now, my dad. He's seventy-six and he just wakes up really early. Bless him. So I make him a cup of tea in bed because he lives on his own and yeah, it's nice to get a cup of tea in bed, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Right then, my lovelies. Right then. Right. Oh, and he was snoring last night. It was the loudest snore I've ever heard in my life. Oh, it was hilarious. I was only in bed. And I said, three o'clock this morning, I heard this. Ah! 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 I was thinking, what is that? It's me dad snoring. <laughs> That's a funny hilarious. snore. <laughs> right then. Now, now, if you weren't here this morning, yeah, if you weren't here a few minutes ago when we had these beautiful ferals, these matte beryls, you know, they went to 11 95 for a 10 mil round. And we were saying, if you put them with the shiny beryls, it's going to look amazing together. And you've got those really pretty cylinders. Perfect. Do you know what, as well? Sometimes you do want a pastel toned piece of jewellery, don't you? Something a little bit more subtle. Yeah, absolutely. It's like, it's light and fresh, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's gentle. Yeah. yeah. You know, you know, and I just think at 29.95, with those beautiful barrels, big, big sizes of barrels. I and mean, remember, you do, you are including aquamarine, one of the most popular sought-after gemstones, and morganite, a rare treat in that strand. And they're big, big morganites. Mm. I think we have one left, Angela. Angela, good luck. One left, darling. Now. Liam's just said, oh, I love that. Why do you love these ones in particular? I actually do agree they're quite unisex. Yeah, I do really you? like these ones too. I prefer the with less clarity and more colour. So totally agree. So it's I, more saturated, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Yeah. So that's how I prefer them. And I and I think Liam's right. They do sort of cross a variety of jewellery. So casual, Agreed. sort of less yeah. formal jewellery, and really you yeah. can make them really pretty as well. They're lovely. They are pretty, and they're. In, and you know what's great about jewellery maker? We all like different things, don't we? We've all got different. We do, don't we, Michael? <laughs> Stop it! I know you're so excited looking at my little face. So. Um, we all do like different things, and there's no right or wrong in jewellery, and this is the great thing about making jewellery. You can, can I just say good morning to the collector in Suffolk, good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, you know, we can, we've got something to suit everybody. That's what we've got here at Jewellery Maker, haven't we? We have. Oh, he's going over here. Ooh, are they? Ooh. Ah. Again, with that Larimar, or with the pearls. We have got side drill, faceted drops, brilliance, sparkle, brilliance of topaz. Look at those. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? Oh. We're all just sitting there now thinking, please, please come through my front door, through my side door, through my loft garage, don't, I don't care, skylight, just give me those. Oh, what price can we do? Under, under, what? Mm. Oh, hello. Um, Gemma, if, yeah. you, if you sold a pair of earrings, with let's say sterling <laughs> silver, yeah, you've got to be near that price point for Absolutely. topaz. Absolutely, haven't you? Yeah, definitely, definitely. You're definitely going to get your money back just on with two of those. You are for sure. And I and I think with this sort of gemstone and that sort of calibre, you're probably better off using one at a time to really sort of oh, showcase. Great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Showcase them and and sort of accelerate there. 
ele or elevate their yeah, not um, yes. perceived value. You look younger. Do I? That's yeah. good. <laughs> That's Do you a good know, thing. I was just, looking, I was just look, <laughs> looking at Gemma thinking, you look you really a lot younger. Do you not think? She looks younger. Yeah, I do. There you go. Oh, and that little, uh, <laughs> oh, do you think so? <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> no, we don't. I don't want to know. <laughs> I am butchering everybody yeah. up today, but you know what? I'm just excited to be on the morning show with you, lovely lot. Flowers, little, is this, um, is this a venturine? Wow. Pretty little flowers. You're getting a bouquet of 30 flowers here. They're lovely, aren't they? They are lovely. They're... Now, I remember Gemma ages ago, and I don't know if it was you, but somebody, one of our guest designers, mm -hmm. got some 0.25 or 0.4 mil, I can't remember which one, yeah. and wrapped around these little indentations on the flowers, and it really, really made a pretty effect with the wire, the contrasting wire, so let's say yeah. you go silver or rose gold or whatever, or copper, around it, and it wrapped around that little divot there, and it looked really pretty. I, I don't know if that, I don't know if it's me. I know I've used them a lot in the past. I love using these. Yeah. Because they're so easy to work with. So they're perfect for rings. Yeah, they are, um, aren't they? They're perfect in macrame because they sit proud. Yeah. They're great for headwear and yeah. um, tiaras and fascinators and things. They're just, they're lovely. A lovely shape. They are, aren't they? Mm. So you could make 30 rings, as, as Gemma's just said, if you wanted to, for 50p each. That's... Yeah, goodness gracious. And look how pretty that's, that is as a ring on the finger. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah. I think I've got one of these. In fact, I have got one of these. Uh, one, I, I accidentally borrowed it from the studio when a guest is on made it uh, in Rose Quartz. Yeah, I've got one in Rose Quartz. Yeah. Might have accidentally borrowed one. We might have been on the same show, <laughs> might, might have been we? that one. Uh, lovely Lee all in Oxfordshire. Hi, lovely team. Watching you in bed, recovering from an operation I had on oh. Monday. Thanks for the company. Oh, Lynn, I hope you're all right, darling. You make the most of being looked after. I hope somebody's looking after you, bringing you soup in bed and a cup of tea or coffee. Oh, get better soon, darling. Get better. Sorry, Liam. Ooh. Now, Gemma, the, the DVD there, darling. Ah, oh, thank you. So. Gemma, yes. talk us through these DVDs, because you did a succession of quick makes, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, so there's a series of them, and they all aim to give you sort of a quick start on making okay. pieces of jewellery, but they all cover lots of techniques to create the same sort of thing. So, so this would be good for a starter as well? Yeah, so it's great if you're beginning, because they're, they're simple techniques that you can make up quickly, okay. but they're also great if you just get, I don't know about anybody else at home, but when I'm making for a fair or a sale, I tend to put loads of energy into it and think I've got to make really big pieces, yeah. and of course they don't bring you any money in no. because you spend so much time. So these are great to just to kick, quick start to get you going making lots of little pieces, um, or they're good starter projects if you want great. to evolve them. Okay, so, so the thing is as well, this is the way I class it, it's like, it's like your bread and butter, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You know, on your store. Yeah. Now, this has been so popular, this DVD, that we've ordered it in three times. Every time it comes on, it sells out. We've got the last 66 chances. Over one and a half thousand of these DVDs are out with our beautiful customers. Now, if you look, if we zoom in on the, on the techniques that we've got there, thank you, Paul and, and Michael, uh, you've got an adjustable bangle, Creole yeah. earrings, chandelier earrings. Now, they're so popular. Stud earrings with backs. Fancy spiral ear hooks, safety kidney wires, I love those, and your ear cuffs. That's a lot of techniques there. Yeah, I've got to just point out that the adjustable bangle is that's a misprint because we I did, did the two at the same time. I'm so glad you said that, but so, I'm just thinking. Yeah, adjustable bangle isn't on there, but you have got all those techniques for different earrings, and they're all different style earrings. There's even stud the stud earrings, okay. including how to make stud backs, oh, really? um, which is something that we, we haven't really shown much oh, before. Brilliant. So yeah, so okay. it's a good, a good variety on that. So great variety, great if you're new to making jewellery, it's my bracelet friend Nikki, she says hi Zina Gemma and Fab mm -hmm. JMT, they are fab. Um, sat at a golf course making Katie Parker's cherry blossom necklace, you're at the golf course again oh, are you? Day. She's lost two stone in white Nikki has. Has she? She has, lost two stone in white. Oh. Good luck, good luck, good luck. That is last... Oh, Michaela, well done. Um, just to let you know now, we're down to less than 40. Good luck, good luck, good luck, less than 40. That is a really brilliant DVD. Um, oh, second, is it quartz? 
Mm. That's sagalitic quartz. Is it? Oh, wow, they're posh. Assorted shapes of that, no. That's no, so hang on a second, that's not similar. right. No, hang on, I didn't think that was right. I didn't think that was right. I was thinking they're not sagalitic quartz. Um, hang on, let's have a look. Where do you think they are? Let's put the let's put the num let's put the let me find it on the on the website. Let's have a look. L oh, is it? Oh, oh, sorry, because I was just thinking they're not sagging it, of Um, we don't have them in the studio. I'm so sorry. Sorry. We're gonna have to make it up to you now, aren't we? Right, the photo is incorrect as well. Um, we don't have the product in the studio, but I said, oh, thank you. So what we'll do is we will get, that's a clearance price to apologize. That's, you're getting two lots, assorted shapes, top drilled hole. You've got the size there, two and a half to three and a half. I apologize we don't have them here and the photograph is wrong. So, but it's like, it'll be a little surprise, won't it? Great price for you there. So sorry about that. I do apologize. Oh, now these. I knew you'd like these. They've I got your nose. Yeah, they've got your name all over them. These with the Boulder Opal coming up next. Mm. Yeah. This is iron. Very glam. Very, very sexy. Tiger's eye. That looked lovely with your top today. Oh, thanks. Which is lovely, by the way. Sainsbury's. Yeah. Sainsbury's, 12 quid. Can't go wrong. Other supermarkets are available. Look at the seat, it's perfect with your top set. Yeah. It's glamorous, but yeah. it's also really earthy. Earthy, and... yeah. yeah. Oh my goodness. Now, Liam, as you gave um, Gemma pearls and Larimar, do I get the Iron Tiger's Eye? I think you should. Oh, thank you, Gemma said I should. That is for both strands. Oh my days. Wow. £6.48, £6.47, Gemma. They're lovely. Amazing price. Now, that with your bolder opal look, could that be any more perfect? Yeah? Mm. That looks fabulous, doesn't it? Mm. Do you know what I think? What, um, yeah, if you want to check out, you've got to be quick because there's only a few left. But do you know what I think that would go nice with? Yeah, with the Larimar. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's a definite. That is, that Larimar that everybody's talking about, that Larimar, I'm sorry to say I've only got 73. But again, we expect it to be limited, don't we? Because it's Larimar. Yeah. Do you know what? Only 10% of Larimar rough makes it to polished gemstones. 10% because of the conditions out in the Dominican Republic. Do you know that? No. It's sad, isn't it? <coughs> so Excuse me, excuse me. Uh, right then, my lovelies, it is that time, and we are about to bring you this very, very limited, rare, uber rare Boulder Opal. Star by. Then, who knows what the rarest opal is? Oh, yeah. Go on. Black, black absolutely. Opal, yes. Say it with confidence, Michael. Black. He went black. Yeah, black. What's the second most rare opal? The uh, white. Boulder. Boulder. <laughs> the other one. <laughs> Boulder. So when we come when we're coming to talk about opals and the magic of opals, because they are not like any other gemstone. Now most gemstones are made up of a crystal structure, seven different types of crystal structure, and that's generally how apart obviously we've got amber coming up, which is a fossilized tree resin. There are exceptions to the rule, but they are an exception to the rule. And this is what is magical about opal, the way opal forms. And imagine it as if, to get that play of colour in the different opals, in, assuming you've got a play, play of colour type opal, uh, which Boulder Opal does have this play of colour, is imagine you've got a cardboard box, yeah? And it's full of polystyrene or little ping pong balls. 
And when the water goes in and fills into those cracks, that's how the plate of colour is formed in the in this silica spheres. That's the easiest, most layman terms way I can describe why opal performs like it does. Boulder opal is gorgeous because it, it again we. Uh, I need you to see these in natural daylight when you get them home, okay, because these colours, these purples, and you do tend to get purple and like a Larimar blue, like a lightning fork running across Boulder Opal, but you need to see them yourself because, and again, I've got them here, they're phenomenal, they're performing, but these lights will not let them work properly. But if you want rare, and if you also want an opal that is completely unisex, it's Boulder Opal. Boulder and opal and black opal. Now, I'm going to focus here, see if we can. I don't know whether it will come through. But though, can you see there, look? Can you see? You can look it, but the lights are, are trying to block it. Look at the violet purples. Look at those beautiful cracks and crevices. That is exactly how it forms across the opal. And it, the, I think they're so obvious, boulder opal, the way they're formed. And this is a, and to get it in a jewellery making, beautiful round that we're used to working with, Gemma. Oh, no, they're just, they're just wonderful, aren't they? They, they are. remind me of, um, do you know Avatar, the film? Yes. And you've got the roots of the, yes. like, that, I can't remember what the tree is called, but yeah. it's like that, isn't yeah. it? It's like the lifeblood yeah. um, of but the earth. But if you love the violet tones, and that's what you get as a dominant colour form in the boulder opal. They are just incredible. Um, they're distinguished by this beautiful layer of, of brown solid iron stone. That's why it go great with the iron tiger's eye. And then, um, and they're just incredible. So they're, they're, they're mined from large iron stone boulders under the ground. So that, that's how they're formed. And then these veins, and it is a vein or like a lightning fork across the surface. Um, and they're formed in the cracks and the fissures in the boulders of the ironstone. And then those layers of op opal in the boulder opal can display any sort of colour in any of the spectrum, but they do tend to be the Larimar blue or the real, real violet, so like an amethyst violet, like a purple. And that's what you're getting there. And it's across the whole... Now these, I can't tell you what, these are cracking quality. Aren't they? They're beautiful, yeah. They're really lovely. They really are. Can I give you an idea how many I've got on there? And that's a very valid price. Just bear with me a second while I count them, if you wouldn't mind. I've got an itchy nose as well. One, two, three. It's a very generous stand, you know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Boulder rare opals. Hmm. Can I just mention before you do the price, Liam? That if you get a really good quality boulder opal, um, I've got it down here, they can fetch up to, now I grant you it's going to be a, a one carat stone, what price do you think per one carat? $3,000. Mm. Yeah, for one carat, now if you divide 66 by 13, these are five carats each. So in the gemstone world, a really good quality boulder opal will fetch $3,000 per one carat. Now, I think you'll agree, we're not even at $3,000 carats there, uh, $3,000, and we've, we've got 13 on this round. Would you like the last opportunities? And these are, mm. these are, these are natural. Great quality. And that is, with, that is by far the lowest price I've ever seen Boulder Opal. I think yeah. previously on air it was £50 and that was a good deal. Under 40 Gemma. This, this is amazing. I, I met a guy actually um, called Louis that, um, at a fair. That oh, yeah. cuts, that goes and gets that's bolder over there. That's a fair. Yeah. Oh, at, well, sorry. I wonder what you <laughs> said then. I was yeah. thinking, oh. <laughs> at, no, that's a gem fair. Oh, right, okay. Um, and he, he, 
he finds and cuts boulder opal yeah. oh, and cabochons. Wow. And he had little, you know, the little gem cases we've yeah, got yeah, with yeah. little cabochons in. They were probably around three to five carats each. Yeah. But you were looking at twice the price we've got here, 60, 70 pounds per, each one. per stone. Yeah. And I think that's about right, you know. They're, they're beautiful. Yeah. And I thought that was a great price it because is. they're so interesting. It's yeah. the first time I'd actually seen it. They're, they're wonderful. Beautiful. But do please, you can see them there. And they look amazing because we've got, there's no trickery in that recording box. It just we've got to reduce light source, so you can see. And it's it, do you see what I mean though about when we were in um, uh, Linda and I and Sheila when we were out in South Africa, there was an electric electrical storm, mm. you know, and they're fabulous out there. And um, that's what that reminds me of. So if you've ever seen a real electrical storm, and I'll tell you what, recently uh, here in the West Midlands, uh, we had the most fantastic storms, didn't we, last month? Mm. Real, frighteningly beautiful, I mean, wow. But can I just say, Annette, Helen Joanne, Collector Rosie, Cheryl Ann, Pam Collectors, all of you coming in for those, that is by far the best deal on Boulder Opal we've seen, okay? But there aren't many left. There aren't many left. Shall we try and get a few more treats in before the Wall of Faith? Shall we? Oh, yeah, go on. Yeah! Oh, could you, could you reach that for me, Poppet? 29, please. Ooh, thank you, gorgeous. Oh, wow, they're good, Gemma. Ooh, Gemma, they're great. Oh, yeah, they're lovely. What? They're Again. lovely. With the Laramar, it's like everything was built everything, to go with the Laramar Exactly, today. everything today. Oh, oh, that. that's my new favourite, the Laramar and the Labradorite. Isn't that lovely? <gasps> Just alternate on a stretch here. That's yeah. Perfect. Hang on a second. Hang on, I'll pick two up. Is that right? No. <laughs> oh, no, it isn't. Is that both of them for £7.95? That's brilliant. But did you realise we were at like £3.98 and £3.97 for Labradorite, one of our best-selling gemstones of all time? <clears throat> that's a bit... Okay, how many do we have available? Okay, we've got 40 chances. Good morning to Ella. 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 And uh, we've got all the regular gang in, including Shazza. Morning, gorgeous people. That is uh, 102 carats of stunning Labrador. And again, look, you can see the performance of the Labrador essence is awesome. The only thing is, if we're way, 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 way over allocated. So um, if you do want to check out, my darlings, you need to do it pronto. Mm. Okay. Pronto, 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 pronto. Oh, do you want to know how to check out? In case you don't. Jewelry Maker has an app, free to download. Credit card, debit card, PayPal. We've got a website, of course we have, jewelrymaker.com. And a human being manned, accredited jewelry professional, local in Warwickshire, Wicked Call Centre on 0800 644 65 644 65. Shall I do that again? <laughs> 0800 644 six double five but put it on your phone as a contact into jm and just quick dial it and then just press option one to go through you've got who is your contact they're about to go well done you've got who is your contact thank you i love it here. you just go mm, thank you <laughs> hey i thought it was you then didn't you Oh, is it me or is it? I'm having a hot flush. Yeah, it's really warm in here. <laughs> Tom Neary? Yeah. Could I have a menopausal blast of fresh air, please? Yeah. Thank you, darling. A bit hot. Me and Gemma are like... <sighs> so then... Ooh! This is like a gemstone scoop. Wow. That's lovely. That's great if you, if you worry about putting gems together. This is... Like, yeah. Because it sort of takes that that fear of putting all different gems together, doesn't it? Yeah, it is a done. great way to teach you about colour, isn't it? Yeah, or just to experiment with combinations. Yeah. It's really lovely. Absolutely, that is so lovely. Seven ninety-five. that is all they are. And I love the size of these. Look at the rose quartz there. Looks like you've got preonite clear quartz. It looks like we've got lapis on there. Uh, we've got all sorts of coloured quartz. I, look, I think we've got blue opal on there. I dread to think that's a Laramar, but I think, I think it's blue opal. But you never know, Labradorite. Wow, seven ninety five on there. That's fantastic. Seven ninety five. Yeah, this morning. This is the first time in months and months and months and months and months we get to do the draw and see who's won on the wall of phase. Very exciting. Very exciting. 
I'm so excited. Those Larimars. Oh, 10 a.m. We're nearly an hour and a quarter, hour and a quarter till the Larimars. Oh, we've got butterflies and birdies and things. Oh, oh. Well, do you know the other day, um, Katie Reed was on the um, was on the uh, show and she'd got she was wearing the birdcage earrings. These ones here. Hello, Tom Neary. Hello. How are you, producer Tom Neary? Good, thanks you. He's brilliant. He was producing me on Monday. He was brilliant. He was great, wasn't he? He was brilliant. Yeah, he he was. was really good. So, little lovebirds. Little lovebirds, all twitterpated. Do you fancy lovebirds in a cage? You get three. Do you fancy lovebirds in a cage with a connector? You get three. Do you fancy these beautiful... Look at these! Now, there's the owl that's twitterpated in Bambi. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the owl that's twitter pated and he's yeah. talking to Bam? Oh, they've had a little baby. Twitter pated, yeah, when you're in love, Paul. Yeah, Paul's like, mm. <laughs> Two little lovebirds sitting on a tree. K R S S I N G. And we've got some, we're going to throw some butterflies into the mix as well. Now, bear in mind, this is rose gold, 925 sterling silver across the whole range. Why don't you tweet yourself? Oh. Uh, <laughs> all you've got to think is, whoo, whoo, you're going to give them two. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that was bad, wasn't it? I'm so sorry. Ouch. That was bad. Ouch. <laughs> uh, so, you have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, what are they? Two pounds each? One pound ninety-nine each? Yeah? One pound, one pound ninety-nine for these. These beautiful owls. And if you are a brummy, these are perfect. I will always love you. Mm. That's... Do you realise that is 14 That's more black country, isn't it, to be fair? But um, that is 14 95 that little... Um, it's called a parliament, isn't it, of owls? Yes. It is, isn't it? A parliament of owls. Goodness knows why. Who knows the average age of a squirrel? The lifespan? Just thought I'd throw this at five, you. Five years. No, it's not five years. It's 15 12. years. It's not 15 years, it's in between. 12. Nine. Nine. The average nine age years. of a squirrel is nine, nine years. years. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> Just thought I'd share that with you. I have two squirrels that, that uh, visit my garden every day and eat all, my, eat all the bird seed every day. Uh, right then, my lovelies. Can we do it now? Can we, can we, can we? Let's wall of fame and the draw. the way we do the wall of fame now oh and i do isn't it isn't lovely, it lovely? Yeah. so we're going to start with roz so roz your entry my darling which i cannot wait to see because apparently it's multicolor barrel did you get the multicolor barrel this morning roz i hope you did because we did matte multicolor barrel at um, 11.95 this morning so can we see the design oh yeah roz Please find attached my offering for the Wall of Fame. It's made of multicolour beryl, 925 sterling silver magnetic clasp and beading flex. Anything from jewellery maker. Uh, my mountain stash, she says. I know it only looks simple, but the colour of the beryl beads are amazing. Thank you for bringing such wonderful gemstones and findings to us. I'm afraid I'm going to need help with this jewellery maker addiction. Roz, we all feel the same. Welcome to the uh, gang. Mm -hmm. Don't keep up the good work because maybe then I'll still have a bank balance. I love the new show format and it's so good to see everyone back again. Lots of love, Roz. Yeah, but Roz, think how much you get for your money, darling. Mm. You could be winning in a minute. You could, you're in the draw. So, Christine, hello, good morning. This is Christine Mosley. Got Christine Mo <laughs> yeah, thank you. No, ah, there she, ooh, lovely, they're sexy. Um, hello to all at JM. I hope you are having a fab day, smiley face. Well, we hope you are as well. Please find attached my second entry to the Wall of Fame. 
It is a simple ruby, pearl and sterling silver bracelet that I made and sent to a friend in Cyprus for her birthday in July. Oh, how lovely. I entered last week and have set myself a task to make at least one thing a week so I can send it to JM and hopefully that will motivate me to keep, it, keep at it so I can improve my skills. I cannot always afford to buy but I love to watch every day for inspiration and for company and good luck to all who enter this week and fingers crossed for me as well. Take care and a kutch to you all from Wales. Aww. Christine, can we just say, that's a great, great motivating task, isn't it? To yeah. set yourself that every week. Yeah, it is. And you've got more chance of winning as well. Exactly. Then you can you afford to buy. Well. Right then, Vera. Hello, Vera. Vera Barini. Oh, that is, um, oh, that that's is lovely. gorgeous. Very classy, isn't it? That is amazing. Um... This rhyolite jasper wire pendant, uh, wire wrap pendant works very well with the 200 meters of gunmetal wire I bought from JM, which is never ending. I love to wire wrap pendants. Listen to this, Gemma Crow. Using this technique, I learned from Gemma Crow a oh. good few months ago. Oh, that's oh, nice. There you go, Gemma. Uh, I hope you are all keeping well. Lovely to see the guest designers braving the studio for us, and thank you. And that, thank you, Vera, because you know what? It is nerve wracking for us all, and uh, but it's important, and we want to keep being here. So it's um, lovely to be back. Um, Karen, what, it, what, what is that? Oh, I like that. What do you like again? Um, Karen said, Hi, all at Jay. That is such understated. Beauty and look at the lovely clasp there as well. Ooh. Um, this is my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. Amethyst from the recent graduated strand and rose quartz from a past bead scoop all from JM. Good luck to all. Thanks for all the imp inspiration and stay safe. And that's our lovely Karen Romanovsky. What a fabulous name. Mm. Wow, you sound amazing. Um, so congratulations, you're in the draw. Oh, this is... <laughs> Who's doing all that? She's transitioned. That's brilliant. Um, Sue Burrell, um, or Borrell, but I think it's Burrell, but hi all. Please find attached my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. Found these strands, both bought from JM, and made up the tourmaline memory wire bracelet with the addition of some moonstone rounds. Also made up the other two bracelets with a strand, but I do not remember what it is. Any ideas? I would oh. have said um, Mexican opal or carnelian. Carnelian. Yeah, it yeah. might be carnelian actually. Yeah. The memory wire bracelet has a shell charm bought on a special holiday last year. Keep up the amazing shows and all the demonstrations. Love the new format and that's best wishes from Sue. Well, Sue, they're beautiful. We think carnelian, darling. Yeah, I think so. Angela? Angela Smith from Yorkshire? Oh, that's so your kind of jewellery, isn't yeah, it, Gemma? that's lovely. That's lovely. Okay. Hi, everyone. Hello, Angela. This week's entry to the Wall of Fame is a necklace consisting of black spinel and silver-coated hematite threaded onto beading wire with a silver-plated wire pendant. All components from JM. Addicted to all the shows since being furloughed and love to all. Oh, Ange from Yorkshire. You're still furloughed, darling. I hope, you, I hope we're keeping you company. And do you know what, Angela? If you want some more stunning black spinel... We've got it in Gemma's kit coming we up have. after the break, haven't we, Gemma? With yes. your amber. Yeah, absolutely. It's gorgeous. Hello, Anila. Gorgeous Anila. She's here, our lovely Anila. Oh, I love that. That it's is lovely. lovely. It's very summer. Isn't it? Dear JM team, I made this bracelet using white howlite chips and agate with silver-plated findings, all from JM. This is a gift for a colleague, and I hope she likes it. How could she not, Anila? Isn't that lovely? Um, so, Erica... We've got your lovely entry now. <laughs> Do you know? I think some... <laughs> anyway, Erica, here is... That's somebody's been busy there. Look at that lovely yeah. sweetie jewellery. Those lovely owls as well, like yeah. we've just had. They're lovely, um, aren't they? Here is my entry to the Wall of Fame. It is a garnet and sterling silver necklace, bracelet, earring and ring set, all from Jewellery Maker. Good luck to everyone. Erica, that is amazing. It's gorgeous, isn't it? That is beautiful. Uh, now, Kathy, Kathy's been playing with Mookite. Oh, they're the lovely flowers we did. Oh, I love those, Kathy. Hi there. This is my entry for the Wall of Fame made from Mookite, all beautiful colours. And I forgot I had this in moustache. Good luck to all. And that's Kathy Orton. 
Um, it's lovely when you find something you've forgotten yeah. about, isn't it, Gemma? Yeah, I think that's happened to a lot of us over lockdown. Yeah, we've been rummaging, rummaging through and having and a clear up, yeah. a clear out, haven't we? Yeah. Um, we've got Sharon Dodds. <laughs> oh, these are lovely. Oh, that was my favourite one. Uh, Hi all at JM. Hello Sharon, lovely girl. Please consider my entry for the wall of foam. It's considered and it's in and it's so great to see the tassels being used so well. Some quick makes which pack a punch, bright and cheery keyring charms, uh, all gemstones from your cells. I, I'd love one of them, Sharon. They're lovely, aren't they? Yeah. Feel free to, um, you know, feel free to send one in. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right then, right then, congratulations. I, I, I'm not shy in coming forward, no, are I, Gemma? No, definitely not. <laughs> right then, so everybody's entry, la 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 la, that comes in, goes in this box. So, shall I? I suppose I'll have to do them both over here, won't I? Should we do the runner-up first, or do we do the winner first? Winner first. Winner first, okay. Are you ready? So if you've sent an entry in, Okay, Tom Neary, Hello. could you look up the winner, 903. Come on, Tom. Uh, da, 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 da. Jane Sewell. Jane Sewell. Oh, well done, Jane. It's our Jane. Yeah. Hello, that's Jane in Cornwall, isn't it? I, I'm not sure. Is that Jane of the Fabergé Swarovski eggs? Is that Jane Sewell in... I think it is, isn't it? Anyway, Jane, no. you have just won a hundred pounds credited to your jewellery maker accounts. <laughs> now the next one, we're going to spin again. Please, have I shot it? Because you know what's going to happen. La 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 la. So the runner up, Tom, gets 50 pounds, don't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Correct. It's very exciting. <laughs> right, I'm not looking. Okay, are you ready? Nine, one, seven. Christine. Christine, does it say where from? No. 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 <laughs> no so how does she know if it's her? She'll get, to, she'll get an email. You get an email. You'll get an email. Christine. So if your name's Christine. Christine, Christine. Da 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 da. So now do remember. Oh yeah, it was the Chris. It was the haunted car in uh, Stephen King's book as well, wasn't it? So remember as well, now how does this, so what happens is now then, anybody that, um, that sends an entry into the Wall of Fame, it's going to be reviewed by our managing director, Mark Jackson, my lovely cousin, Stevie Bennett, and uh, who's currently out and having a lovely holiday, and um, they're going to review the entries and what they deem to be the best jewellery that can then be made into jewellery. They're going to make 10 pieces up for you and you'll get them. That's cool, isn't it? Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah, but it, that it, it's, is so, it's amazing, yeah. That is lovely, I think. I think that's really, really, I think that's brilliant. Um, now, can you see as well what Liam's been doing? He's been adding a few more treats to the web. So if you go back to jewellerymaker.com and you go to the Jewellery Maker app, there might be a few more treats for you that you can get at these fantastic early bird prices. So do please, now just with the Wall of Fame, just bear in mind, you can enter once a week, You've just got it. All we ask is that you use Jewelry Maker products, which isn't difficult. And then you get the chance once a week to get entered into that draw to win £100 credited to your Jewelry Maker account, which is a lot of money, or £50 as the runner up credited to your Jewelry Maker account. So it's really, really worth it. Okay. Now then, after the break, Gemma mm -hmm. of the Lovely Crow has made stunning jewellery because she had stunning kits as well, didn't you, darling? I did. Absolutely gorgeous yep. kits, yeah. We've got black spinel, we've got sterling silver, we've got threading, we've got black spinel, we've got amber. I think I said black spinel twice. And the amber, thank you. And the amber in the kits is amazing. We've got a demo with Gemma. We've got the Larimar in an hour. So do please join us after this short break. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? 
You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced jewellery maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. So visit our website for more information. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Love Jewellery Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewellery Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations and of course all the fun. Create. Wear. Share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Are you new to jewellery making? Not sure where to start? Then tune into Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm for our Get Started Hour. One of our fantastic designers will be showing you basic techniques, giving you lots of hints and tips, bringing you one of our specially designed kits for newbies and showing you step-by-step -step demonstrations to get you started on your jewellery making journey. Get started with Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm. They're here. I'm very, very, very proud to introduce you to my brand new, designed by me, Czech glass bead. This is the Bobby. And I'll be introducing you to the Bobby on the morning show of July the 28th, where it's gonna be, it's gonna be poignant because um, I've mentioned before on the show that uh, the Bobby Bead is named after my late father. And uh, so the whole morning show will, will be all about him. And um, we've got 15 colors, two of which have never been seen before. I'm going to introduce you to the new shape, the new style. We've got a double disc DVD, which we're going to be launching on the show as well. And my partner in crime, Zena, will also be joining me on the show. So that's July the 28th, the morning show, 9 a.m., a brand new launch of the world exclusive to jewelry maker, Bobby Bead. Really hope you can join us. See you then. At Jewelry Maker, we're always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to put it into your basket online or speak to one of our brilliant customer service team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 68,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. 
If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Oh, you lucky, lucky things. Um, now, first of all, could I just show you these high luster pearls that Gemma thought was $44.95, I thought were $49.95, the luster on them, and they've got the most beautiful weight to them. These, look at those. How shiny and bright are those? And when you get these home and you feel the weight to them, you know they're the real deal. You know they are genuine. They are absolutely phenomenal. They're going to go great with the amber that we've got in the kits today. I've just also been gone gooey over Gemma's. Can I, before we start on this kit, would you mind awfully, this necklace, I've just said to Gemma, can I buy that necklace from you, please? Because it, look at that, look at that. Isn't that stunning? It just looks so high end, oh, doesn't it? Oh, Gemma, I'm smitten with that necklace. Utterly smitten. So, the amber we've got, the kits we've got, the sterling silver precious metals we've got, gold plate, we've got these, this, this strand. Now, first of all, we're going to start with a strand that I ha You all right, darling? You all right? Got some water? Yeah, she's okay. Um, so we've got 13 chances. Now, also, I am so sorry to say I don't have it here in the studio. But we do have that beautiful recording, and unusually, you have got in one strand, you've got cognac, you've got lemon, You've got cherry, which is the deep cherry red, and that off-white, which is like a champagne toad, tone, not a toad, sorry, toad. <laughs> that. In my defence, there, well, there could be toads from years ago in the amber as inclusions, but it's not a toad, it's a tone. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, anyway. And butterscotch. Now, this is a ve you can see the quality. You don't need me as a presenter to tell you the quality. They're eight mil rounds. They are knockout. There are less than 10. Here is a picture of the strand as well, just if you wanted to see it. This is how it looks like. This is the picture of, that we've got for the Baltic Amber. It is knockout quality. Look at that. Mm. And isn't it wonderful to get so many colours, five colours of amber in one strand? Yeah, it's got the border. Yeah. And everybody's got their favourite. Of course we have. What's yours? Um, Butterscotch. But is it the butterscotch? Yeah, and the cognac. The, like, yeah, those I like two. cognac. Yeah. Um, but, but it's lovely to get yeah. them. I mean, you can graduate them. Absolutely. You, you know, there's yeah. so much you can do with them. And if you would like to recreate that necklace that we've all, well, I they are falling in love with, that necklace that Gemma's made over there with all those colour tones, then you can recreate that design of Gemma's because we do have the black spillella in a kit and you've got the cherry, you've got the cognac, you've got the lemon, you've got the off-white and uh, you could recreate that and add butterscotch as well if you wanted to. Because that black spinelli is coming up in a kit with those ambers, with those exact ambers if you want to replicate that design. But again, you could go up in size and go with those rounds of 8 mil. That would look even, even more incredible, mm. wouldn't it? Yeah, combine rounds. them all. Yeah. Now then, can I just say, um, quality-wise, that is exceptional. And again, because we buy from a, ve a great family-run business out in Poland, we, um, what's lovely is as well is generally when we get an amber, it's a, normally... About 100 or less than 100 of each design, yeah. usually, more often than not. Occasionally we have a few more. But it means that you are getting a limited edition amber. 
And I've ne those butterscotch. Mm. That's a really lovely tone, isn't it? Yeah, they're gorgeous. And the brightness. Look at the brightness of the lemon. Mm. And the contrast of those colours. I think these would go so... Let me show you with the pearls I'm wearing. It's not the same um, strand, but let me just give you... An now, this is the strand that Gemma's got in the kit with the necklace that she's made. Look how well they go with the pearls. Lovely. Yeah? yeah. Well done. Collectors, collectors, collectors. Kathleen, Carol, Sally, Susan, just get those checked out. We've got lots more amber to come, so don't you worry. Right then. The kits. I've got to say, the kits. The kits with these prices are unbelievable value for money. Yeah, I can't believe the price, especially when we're looking at the strand we've just looked at. Yeah. And how much, you know, that is. When we look at these. I know. It, the, the kits are amazing. Yeah. Value. So, so we're starting with the the earrings. Okay. So I'm going to start with. I'm going to talk about the findings. One of those brilliant earring findings kits, which Gemma's made. Fantastic. It's great to see the variation with the earrings, which we'll show you mm -hmm. in a minute. But look at this strand. This is the strand in the kit. Now these are seven to eight mil. Now we call them nuggets, but we think that's a mistake. Well, not think, it's blatantly obvious it's a mistake, isn't mm. it? So just ignore the word nuggets if you don't mind. Again, cognac, lemon, cherry, and that beautiful, this, they call, we've called it off-white, but it's actually referred to in the industry as a champagne. So actually, they shouldn't be classed as off-white, they're champagne. So cognac, lemon, cherry, and you've got these beautiful, Almost towards butterscotch there as well. So you've got them all mm. on there, haven't you? Yeah, you've got a lovely variety. Yeah. So these are stunning mm. ambers again. Mm. You, they're gorgeous. I love the shapes of these, actually. Mm. Now, what we've decided to do is, obviously, earlier on with Gemma, we had Gemma's Earring Quick Makes DVD. So if you manage to get that, what we thought was, if we put an earrings findings pack with the kit, now, there might be a few of the DVD left. We had it yeah. on this morning. So if you go back to jewelrymaker.com, can we pop it at the bottom of the screen when we do it? Is that all right? Because we only, it's, we've had a fat one and a half thousand of the Quick Makes Earrings DVD with Gemma. And we've got the last 30 odd left on the show this morning. So if you do want them, do get them. We have got a 16 piece earrings findings pack. Now what you've got there, look, you've got two pairs of shepherd hooks, two hoops, two of the, what we class as the fish hook, really contemporary designer earrings, all the head pins you need and jump rings. Mm. It's a lovely, it's a Isn't lovely it? pack to go with, and, and you know I, I'm never very indulgent with earrings, um, and so it was nice to just make earrings, yeah. you know, yeah. just be guided by that that kit and just make some lovely earrings, and they're very popular, aren't they? One yeah. size fits all, you know, yeah. and they're they're precious metal. So absolutely, well, two precious metals because we've got <coughs> gold plate mm -hmm. over sterling silver. You, I think you tend to expect that, wouldn't you, with amber, a minimum of sterling silver. So you've got the head pins as well. Don't forget the head pins. Yeah? And as I say head pins, what we've got is two options for you. This is brilliant. We've got our usual ball head pins, but something we, it's like hen's teeth. We've got the flat head pins as well. So that will give you a feature that disappears and makes them look like the floating, doesn't it, Gemma? Yeah. yeah, these are lovely. They're just, like you said, like they're floating. We never get them, do we? No, very, very rarely. Yeah? So if you were to buy all of this, and I, I tell you what, that, that kit is the right name. Here today, gone tomorrow. <laughs> oh, very clever, that is. Jump rings as well. So for the amber, so the, the amber, the previous price we just had on the app, look at those earrings. Oh, Gemma, they're lovely. And if you don't mind me saying, these are quick makes. Very quick, yeah. yeah? yeah. How yeah, quickly I mean, could you make a pair of those earrings? Um, well, I suppose the most complicated pair on there is the pair I'm going to show you, and we'll do those in less than less than five minutes. Fantastic! Fantastic! So, yeah. And the thing is, as well, I went to a dinner. Uh, I went to a friend's uh, house last Friday for dinner. My lovely friend Joy, um, uh, and she had the most beautiful pair of drop Baltic amber earrings in, and she's given me a Baltic amber necklace to try and get fixed, actually. Um, but she looked lovely, and I think these suit any age, any skin tone. Mm -hmm. So, are you ready for this kit price? The kit that we have available. No, he's only 31. Okay, we've got more in the next one. Are you ready for this? Because I think you're going to be superbly chuffed. 
This is less than the price than the strand should be on its own and the earrings findings we've thrown in. That's such a good price, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you know, each pair of those earrings would be Easily. That. You know, if you were selling them on, you'd probably be going around the yeah. £30 mark yeah. for Baltic cap, well, for amber you would, earrings you? with um, precious to, metal. You? Yeah. Yeah. So the web price is 54 95 You can only get this deal in this kit. And I tell you what, um, I don't think my, my, my pad's um, picking up. Let me try and refresh. Yeah, it's not. It's gone again. Um, do you know what? No, don't, I can't read your names out. I'm so sorry. But I must just say... If you get this kit, and we've got more kits to come, we've got more under £30 Baltic Amber kits to come. Different variations. We've got one with a threading pack, one with findings, one with black spinel. Okay, we're down to the last. Oh, it's nearly going under 10 already. I must just say, well done you. Mm. So that's one, <coughs> two, three, four pairs of earrings you've got that at least. Whether you want to use yeah. the head pins or the jump rings. Just a quick question, Gemma. Mm -hmm. How does somebody decide if they want the flat head or the ball head, or is it just preference? It, it, yeah, it's, it is just preference. I mean, um, the, I, I like them. Some, the, the little ball head pin's lovely because it yeah. adds a little bit of a detail, a little yeah. bit of a full stop. But if you just don't want anything to interfere with your design at all, yeah. then you go with the flat head pin. Okay. And the flat head pins are slightly longer as well, so you can get more on them. And also, if you've got like a gem, uh, one of our gemstones, if you're using it with it, something else with a much bigger hole, hole yeah. it, it's, it's got a bigger, bigger flat surface to yes. capture the hole, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah, it has, okay. yeah. Thank you. Kit's gone. Sold out. Sold out. Mm. Now then. This strand, so let's just remember, I, I would get both of the kits if I were you. This is the necklace, the necklace that I, I've... I've and, and do you know how lovely Gemma is? Because I said to Gemma, can I please buy that from you? And she said, you can have it. Gemma, thank you so much. That's going to be oh. my new favourite necklace. You're welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank You're you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, we're all just sharing the love this morning, aren't we? So, it's the same strand with your beautiful, you've got your lemons, your cognacs, your cherries, your champagne tones in those beautiful, beautiful honeybee designs. And then also, if you want to recreate that fabulous necklace that Gemma's made, Look at that with the most dazzling... And doesn't black spinel go well it's with perfect, it? perfect, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's perfect. It's just the, the ultimate backdrop yeah. Yeah. for those ambers. Yeah. So I know you're assuming that this is going to be more expensive. I get it. I get it. You've got those really sparkly eight mm -hmm. carats of dazzling black spinel, but we haven't finished. We're still going to give you a high-end findings kit. Gold-plated sterling silver. That includes... A set of head pins, shepherd hooks, sorry, shepherd hooks, ball head pins, two bolt ring clasps, your jump rings that are precision saw cut, and we've added the crimps and the crimp covers. Now, this will go beautifully with your pearls and your Larimar. Yeah. Your Larimar is 45 minutes away, coming up in that beautiful spinning around, tempting you. We've also got the pearls that I'm wearing. Those would work beautifully. And we've given you a threading pack as well. Monofilament, clear elastic, and your beading thread. So the kit, I've got double the amount of the last kit. I know that we obviously are going to have to make the kit more expensive because we've got the same strand of the amber, mm -hmm. the black spinel, plus the findings, plus the threading pack. Pa excuse me? That's lower. <laughs> oh, um, apparently I'm talking rot. We are going to give you that for less than the pre... Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. That, I mean, that suite of jewellery is nowhere near <laughs> that price, is it? Yeah. Um, we're that confident we put the volume in. That's going to sell out. It has to at that price, isn't it? That is unbelievable. That is unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, let's, let's be honest, everybody. You would never, ever be able to buy that necklace... For anywhere near that price, would you? No. What would you think, Gemma? Uh, well, I'd say probably. If you if it was in the little jewellers yeah, on yeah, the yeah. cross in Gloucester, I would say you're looking around the hundred and twenty pounds, hundred and thirty pounds. I was thinking three mark. figure, yeah, absolutely. Um, and that's that's about the only place I yeah. that I've got locally that I could buy something like yeah. that. Uh, those figures aren't right. The computer can't keep up with you. 
less than 20 available. I'm sorry, don't, don't, yeah, I'm so, so, I'm way over allocated. That kit, if only we'd have got more, but my goodness me, what a steal you've got. It is about to go. The, the good news is as well, after the demonstration with our lovely Gemma, um, we have got so much amber. We've got, um, we have got amber, beautiful pieces of amber, 29 different styles of amber coming up after, wow. the, after the, 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 the demo. Okay, now, just, well done. Well done yeah. on that kit. Well done. Amazing. Now, just before we go to our wonderful Gemma, we have got... Uh, now, we haven't seen... She's like an old friend, this is. Mm. This. Now, this is brilliant. I've got this, yeah. I think we've all got this yeah. here, haven't we? Yeah, it's really good. What do you do with yours, Gemma? So, in the back, I've got all sort of my finer... So not all, I've got to say, because uh, I couldn't fit it all in, in there. In this section in the front? Yeah, in yep. this section with the pockets, yep. um, I have like my finer pieces, chain, yep. um, um, rosary-linked pieces, yep. things like that. Yep. And then on the other side, I've got hanging sort of more my more chunky pieces and okay. solid pieces like torques and things. Because you've got all this Velcro on the back. Yeah. So what you do on the back, look, if I just get you an example, if I just get those barrels, you pop a strand over the back and just do up the, uh, here we go, look. You just do up yeah. the um, the velcro look. So you see, see, look. You just velcro up. Just, just that's it. And that's all your strands on there. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. There's twenty out on the back of there. Twenty eight different uh, compartments there on the back. Mm -hmm. And then on, you know what you do? Just do that. Look, it's got a hanger on the top. Look. So you just hang it where you fancy. This even go on the back of your door. Mm -hmm. have you, have, if you're struggling for space. Mine goes on the back of my door. Yeah. And then yeah. here, look, we have got, now then, just a quickie, we've got three, six of the nine, 12, 15, 15 compartments here, and then four big compartments at the bottom. So that is, and then, of course, as well, it folds up as well, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Now, last year, last year, we've actually, we've not seen this since last year, and we've got, um... A better price. So it's a storage hanger bag with your compartments. You've either got the lovely um, plastic compartments at the front or you've got the Velcro on the back. Now, that just felt, that, look, how, look how flat that falls as well. So if you're going away. Yeah, it's quite good to travel with. But isn't it a great yeah. travel? Because you can put your scarves in there that. as yeah. well. And, you know, gloves, brooches. Well, that's brilliant. Handkerchiefs. Earrings. Imagine how many earrings you could get in there if you're going away. Yeah. So it just falls flat, pardon. Sweeties. No, you can't put your sweeties in. We well, could, I suppose, but you know. Right then, six ninety-five. The kits have sold out. Keep checking out with your storage. Amber to come, and the Larimar is now forty <coughs> minutes away. All right. So, Gemma, lovely girl, mm. can we have one of your fabulous demos, darling, please? Yes, I'll. Um, I'm going to uh, show you how to create the. Um, I think the fish wire earrings, the yeah, fish hook cool. earrings. Yeah. Um, because I've integrated one of the gemstones onto the actual hook itself. The beauty of these is because they're sterling silver um, with a gold plating, is they're really forgiving. So you can undo them and, and reshape them really easily. Okay, yeah. So I'm going to show you how to do that and the little spring detail I've got down the front as well. So first off, I'm going to open this ear wire up. So what I want to do is pop where the bend is in between my flat nose or snipe nose pliers. Uh -huh. So pop it in there and then just then just bite down to open it out, okay? And it opens it out really, really simply. And then take one of your ambers, whichever you've decided on. I've chosen the, um, the lovely sort of butterscotch color. Mm -hmm. um, and you just drop that into position just there like that. Okay, and then I'm going to create a little coil that's gonna sit on there, the little decorative coil. Because you get such a lot of metal in this, you've got space to do some decorative work along that ear wire. So, let me just pop that out of the way. So, I've got an ear wire here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start up, uh, uh, sorry, uh, a ball head pin here. I'm going to start at the tip of that ball head pin with the tip of my pliers, uh, around those pliers, and I'm just going to push the wire around the pliers and turn my wrist to create a a sort of a coil or spring like shape so I'm going to keep opening my pliers re-gripping and turning so that I'm getting this sort of coil all the way down and I'm trying to keep the distance between each sort of coil sort of level and even 
so I get this um, consistent shape. Okay, so there's um, one little quill done. Now I want to tighten the top bit up a little bit so that it grips onto the ear wire itself. So with that you're just going to take that top piece and just give it a little twist in your hand and it will sort of tighten up that coil slightly. Now, <clears throat> when you come to do the next one, um, we want the, the wires, the ear wires, to be handed. So what that means is that you want it sort of the opposite on the other side, okay? Okay. So when you, whereas before I started and I twisted around like that, yeah. this time you want to twist the other way, okay? So okay. you turn, turn the other direction. And it seems a little bit um, alien at first, yeah. but um, as soon as you get started, it, you know, you'll get there. So you'll make that in the opposite direction. Okay. Okay. So what I tend to do is make these at the same time so that I can then pop them together to see if they're the same, okay, mm -hmm. before yep. I put them onto the ear wire. Mm -hmm. Okay, so once that's done, what we do is we just slide that little coil onto the, the um, kidney wire or the fish hook wire, yeah. put it into position. I want that little ball to sit on the, on the outside so it's sort of front facing when I put it on. So hold it where it is mm -hmm. and then just take your flat nose pliers and just sort of pinch the wire together, the top of that coil together onto the ear wire. And that just grips it in place and helps it stay put. And then we're going to go back to where that bend was and using round nose pliers we're just going to, it's hard to see where it was because it's so forgiving this wire, just going to bend that wire back into shape, bend it around back into shape, and then just going to attach a little dangle onto the bottom. So I'm going to take another head pin yeah. and um, pop another one of my ambers on, mm -hmm. and then we're going to create a little wrapped loop. So I'm just going to put my round nose pliers onto the top of the bead, so I'm sort of holding the wire, and that's going to give me a little space where I'm going to wrap the wire around in a minute. So first off, I'm going to push the wire off to the side, so you've got this 90 degree angle on the bead. Mm -hmm. Then reposition my rhino's plier, so slide the pliers along yeah. until it hits that little neck section that you put in. Hold down, take the wire around, around the, um, the pliers. And what that does is, by putting that little bend in first, it puts the the loop sort of centrally above that, above the neck that you've put in. So this little neck here is going to give you a place to take the wire and wrap it around. You can see I'm doing that with my fingers because the wire is so lovely and soft yeah. and malleable because it's that precious metal. Once you've got it wrapped round, you can then just trim off any excess. Mm -hmm. So flat, uh, little flush cutter pliers pop in there to trim off the excess and then the loop at the bottom of your ear wire, you just open up like you would a gem ring. So you pop your pliers on the side and twist it upwards to open it. Pop the um, bead into place and then twist it back down. And then we've got your little earring oh, with just that little beautiful. bit more interest on, on yeah. that. Um, on well, we like movement in earrings, don't we? Yeah, yeah. So just a little bit more. A little bit more interesting, you've got that little bit of movement as well. They're beautiful and they're really effective, really stylish. Just have a little mm. look at the cover. There you go. And of course you could yeah. change the colours if you wanted to, yeah, couldn't you? Yeah, of course, you can use yeah. whichever ones. Yeah. And you can use a combination of techniques, so I've got rosary link techniques, I've got um, just elongated head pins, so just staggering the length of the head pins, yeah. so you get that sort of teardrop effect. Yeah, they're beautiful. But yeah. Do we, do we have any of the DVDs but left? Oh, did it crash the graphics? Right, earlier on, we did have, there aren't many left. If you go back to jewelrymaker.com or the app, the code for the DVD, have you got that, darling? Please. Oh, sorry. It's like, oh. The code, this is Gemma Crow's Quick Makes Earrings DVD. Q-A-T-Y. Zero two. But there's hardly any left now. We've had one and a half thousand DVDs. We've had to reprint it three times, and we've got about the last just less than twenty available. All right, my lovely. So good luck. Thank you, Gemma. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, Thanks Gemma. Thanks for the lovely kits. It's our pleasure, darling. <laughs> now, um, 
Okay, now remember the Larimar is now just over half an hour away. Now these drops, they're like, these, these make me think, the very limited edition, you know when we talk about the tree resin, the fossilised tree resin, and you imagine it dropping from the tree, can't you? This to me is what it would look like, these drops, these beautiful drops. Or even, we could class them as leaf shapes as well, couldn't we? These are stunning. They're beautiful. So bright. We'll do these in about 10, 15 minutes for you. Okay? So, do you see this amazing, stunning cherry? I think these would make the most beautiful vintage designs as well. Cherry, a whole necklace strand. Oh, wow. They're gorgeous. Of these cherry amber. See, the Larimar would look lovely in what, between do you know, those. Do you know, you're right. It's, <laughs> let me just show you. Gemma's saying the Larimar with the cherry amber. That's gorgeous, isn't it? That's very vintage. It's a very yeah. vintage look. It is, isn't it? Mm. Those are stunning, aren't they? This really, really deep, saturated tone of, of Baltic amber. They're amazing, absolutely amazing. And it's lovely to get a whole necklace strand. Of, I say mm. necklace strand, I've put it in a necklace layout design on the bus there for you. Um, so, I take it we all know how amber's formed, isn't it? Don't we? When all the glaciers, all the movement of the glaciers melted to create the Baltic Sea. And then it travelled down from the north to Estonia, to Russia. Um, and that's a, million, a minimum of 40 million years ago. The chances are, because it can't be carbon dated because of it being a tree resin, um, the likelihood that it's anywhere up to about 175 million years ago. Of course, all the Baltic Sea then, so there's no more. There is no more Baltic amber, as in the sense that it's not being created anymore. So once all of the Baltic amber has been mined, there will be no more. Quite, quite sad, really, isn't it? If you think about it. Now, again, I'm going to say, with these deal of the day pearls, your pearls with that stunning cherry amber would look... Do you see what I mean? It could be quite vintage, couldn't it, Gemma? That's, yeah, that's yeah? beautiful. <clears throat> that's gorgeous together. It is, isn't it? <clears throat> with that whole strand, 34.95, that's phenomenal. And we've only had this on once before. That is a, that's you know, and that goes all the way up, look, all the way around, look. That's 34.95. That's what I'm saying, I think that's quite right. That's definitely not that's right. That's definitely not right. We, I don't think we've got that quite right, so do you know what? And how lovely would it be to add in those drops that we've just shown? Now, Carol's just said, great show. Oh, thanks, Carol. Gemma, how do you stop the end of the fish hook from being sharp in the ear? Thanks. Uh, um, well... And these ones um, that you've got in the, in the kit are ready-made for earrings. So I haven't made those myself. They're ready-made, and so they're finished beautifully. Okay. The, um, the plating goes all the way across the tip of the wire. So right. no problem with those. If you're making them yourself um, with wire, yeah. that's when you might get an issue. Um, and that, there's a couple of things you can do. You can pop a little bit of clear nail varnish on the tip. Oh, um, And tip. sort of dip it in and let it drip down so it okay. gives it a good coating um, or you can file it off with a, a needle file or even like a glass file that you'd use for your nails okay um, yeah there's a couple of ways you can sort of smooth that end off right but these ones you won't need to so the ones in the kit you. they're already done yeah okay great okay so there you go 34.95 that is i'm going to leave that there for you which ones are we doing oh we've got so many treats for you today in fact, no, I'm gonna, oh, can you imagine, look at these together, I've got to show you these together, look at the, oh, Gemma, 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 Gemma. Oh. Oh. That's amazing. Oh, yes. Oh, now, stop Now, on it. that lemon, there That's are ridiculous. only ten. Gemma's just gone, stop it, because he's just agreed, our producer, to match the price. I'm not joking, I've seen that for four figures. In, in York, in the boutiques in York, I've seen necklaces like that yeah. for four figures. Yeah. Totally agree. Yeah. That's incredible price. Uh -huh. <laughs> that is that. unbelievable. And if you get that with the cherry, 34 dollars Okay, now Janice has got them. Collector in Cheshire's got them. Collector in Devon. Collector in London. Ella in Essex. Okay, we've got five left. Of this, I'm just going to take that away so I don't confuse anybody, but there are five left of the lemon. Look how bright they are. They are stunning, aren't they? 
That, I, and, surely that yeah, can't be right. It, it, it isn't right. But you know what? Snaffle them quick. Now, Ella, Christine, you need to check out. Christina, sorry. Uh, oh, hang on a second. I think there's two, th three left, two left. Is the two... Oh, um, it's gone. Can you hear it go? <sighs> I can't believe that. That's amazing. I mean, we haven't finished I've, yet. Maybe I've missed something. But... The drops are coming up. The drops are coming up. The drops are coming up. Um, right then, my lovelies, I've got so much beautiful amber for you here. We've got connectors, we've got pear drops, we've got... It looks like there's one set with a cubic zirconia in the middle here. It's amazing. Like a... Wow. I love it. Oh, hang on. Is this... How... How does that work? Look at that. Oh, Gemma. It's got oh, a little moon cute. on it, look. That's really cute. It's very contemporary, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lovely little crescent moon. Beautiful Baltic cognac amber. And you know what I'm going to show it you with, don't you? Yes. Liam just went, the pearls. Absolutely. Well, actually, I've got them on. So I'll tell you what. If I show you this lovely neck, imagine. So imagine if you've made this a little bit longer, perhaps, and you just had that, like, an asymmetrical sort of collarbone. Mm. Yeah? What do you think, Gemma? Yeah, I think that's, that's lovely. It is, isn't that's it? That's really lovely. That is gorgeous. Now, you've got to snap all these pretty quickly, though, because they're going very quickly. Um, oh! This has got a heart on it. Oh, Gemma. Look at this. Oh, I'm thinking with the, one of our stretchy, you know, stretchy, um, slider bracelets that we do. Mm. We love those, don't we? Look at that. That's cute as well. Yeah. A little heart. I think that's, that's just lovely, isn't it? Now, on Saturday, we are having Christmas in July because it's the 25th. So if you would like to start thinking, dare we suggest for Christmas presents? I know I've just said the Christmas word, sorry. But, you know, Christmas fairs, if we get to start doing those again. Especially as we've been starred of our jewellery fairs during lockdown, haven't we, Gemma? A lot of people, a lot yeah. of people have um, been preparing. Absolutely. Just, you know, so yeah. a lot of people are ahead, actually, for Absolutely. the fairs. Now, this is sterling silver. It's only a £10 note, or just less than. Beautifully bezel set. $9.95. Now, Gemma, you may not want to look... You may, you may want to hide your eyes, Gemma. I'm scared. This is a fab. I'm thinking a Ooh, ring. Are you, Gemma? That. What's that set in there? So... Cubic zirconia set into the amber. Yeah. Oh, that needs to be a ring, doesn't it? <laughs> so, how have we set the cubic zirconia into that amber? How have we done that? That's beautiful. It's beautiful. Now it comes with a peg, which I'm going to show you. You might think, so the peg, let me show you, look. So attach into, and just to mention on the show on Friday, we do have some lovely sterling silver chains, gold plated chains, rose gold plated chains to go with the amber that we've got coming up. So if you want some chains, we've got them coming up. That peg goes into the, I've got the right, hang on a second, yeah goes into the hole that we've already drilled for you in that amber. So that can go straight onto a chain if you wanted to. That is beautiful. I've never seen us do that. Oh, no. No way. Gemma, wouldn't that be the perfect size? You know, like on a really long sort of 30, 36 inch chain? Yeah, that would be, it'd be gorgeous like that. I would be tempted to get a couple and I would, I'd yeah. love to have one of those as a, as a nice ring. Like can you imagine a, those as earrings as well, Gemma? Yeah. Because you I could can. afford to make those into earrings, those those stunning. And remember as well, with Baltic amber, yeah, I mean, with Baltic amber, you're getting the best amber in the world, aren't you? The best quality. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you, Michael, for saving me there. 
So, you get a peg with this one as well? So the peg. Now, Gemma, could you just mm. explain, when there's this peg, which has got this little sort of, like a drill bit sort of, um, you know what I mean? The threaded. Th threaded, that's yeah. the word I was looking for yeah. that was eluding me, thank you. If somebody wants to set the peg in the top, what do they do, darling? So all you need to do is just pop a little bit of glue onto the top of the peg. Yeah. And then, if you can, have the peg upside down, so put it into like a, into a, the edge of a bead board or Give something. Board, yeah. um, pop it in so and then lower the um amber amber onto the peg. Yeah. That will draw the glue down but stop the pooling oh. at the bottom. And okay. those little ridges will just help. And just let it set. Yeah. Ah, thank you, darling. Thank you. We're gonna match the price. It's got that sparkling, flawless, <laughs> diamond looking cubic zirconia set into the Baltic amber. These are beautiful gifts. <laughs> I think that, um, certainly from my experience, and I think Gemma may say the same thing, every time I have gifted Amber to anybody, they have fallen in love with Amber. Do you find that, Gemma? Sorry, sorry, Zena, I missed that first bit. <laughs> so I'm very sorry, I was concentrating it's on fine. my... Uh, it's fine, My Larimar. It's fine. She was, to be fair. And I'm just saying, every time I've gifted Amber to anybody, they've loved it. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I mean, it's... You can't not, can you? No, you can't. it is universal. Hang on a second, how's that not sold out? It's 12 95 I take it the baskets are working. I take it the phone lines are working. The web's working. 12 95 12 95 That is unbelievable. The drops aren't far away. Um, okay. Oh, these as bracelets. Look at this. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, gorgeous. Gemma. Yeah. Or dare I suggest, you know the pearls, what I is wearing? Yes. The high luster pearls. Would you like to see those as spacers? I mean, I you could be that decadent, couldn't you? I think they'd be lovely as spacers. Oh, I think you're right. Paul's shape got works so well. Mm -hmm. Paul's just got... These come with sterling silver spaces as well, you know. Those spaces in between are sterling silver. Hmm. So we sold a hundred at forty nine ninety five. So you'd think we'd do forty nine ninety five again, wouldn't you? But how would you fancy a midweek treat on those vibrant, fossilized tree resin? That is his, That is our planet there. Locked away. Thirty-four ninety-four. They're amazing. Baltic multicolor. Is anybody else feeling like we are all here that we have no idea what day of the week it is? Mm. It all this stuff like is a weekend. We're on. It, it is weird, isn't it? You have to remind yourself what the days are because they've all blended into one, haven't they? Yeah. Mm. I think yeah. it's so nice to socialise at the moment. It feels like a weekend whenever you're out exactly. socialising, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, it really is. It's yes. a massive treat, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well done on those. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Um, right then, right then, right then, it is time. Mind you, every one of the Baltic Ambers in this hour are worthy of a star buy. Every single one. But let's make these extra special. It's our star buy. Oh, the strand would just come and knot it as I pick it up, wouldn't it? So there is, a, that's good because there's one come off so we can show you that on its, oh no, it's both ends, oh no! What live TV? Oh, right, hang on a second. Sorry everybody, it's just come and knotted, I do apologise. It had to wait right as I picked it up. It's been there all morning. It says, no, live TV. I'm just about to be shown and I'm going to, right, play you up. Mm -hmm. So bear with me. I do apologise. Just hang up one second. One second. Come here. 
It's good actually because you can see a few of them off the strand, mm. so I don't mind actually. Oh, there's a few more coming off the strand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why don't we look at them while I uh, try and fix this? Um, I can buy Okay, there we go. So, what is lovely is, let me show you here, I'm going to get those onto the board so you can see them all. The spacers are sterling silver. I would like to just mention that, so that's fantastic. Now, let me show you. They graduate beautifully, look. So, I think if that, if you just got the kit with the earring findings mm -hmm. and you wanted to, I mean, you could have, what you could do actually, Gemma, I'm thinking is have one of the largest dependent. Mm hmm. And then have some of the smaller ones as the matching earrings, do you think? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. I've had this strand before and, and many suites of pendants and earrings because you've got such a lovely variety of yeah. sizes, you can yeah. easily do that. Um, yeah, they're lovely. And of course, you can combine them with quite intricate wire work to. Yeah. Oh, they're lovely. I love those little drops. And, they're lovely, aren't they? And they're brilliant because they're through drilled. So yeah. they're so simple to work with. Just literally straight onto a head pin, yep. little loop at the top, and you're, you're done. You, there's no brille wrapping no, or any of that. Exactly, added because of that sort of complication. Drill. Yeah. yeah. Um, just to mention as well, if you missed out on the kit that sold out this morning, in the deal of the day hour at 11 o'clock, we do have a gold plated findings kit with the earrings, haven't we? Yeah. So the earrings, if you missed it in the kit earlier, it has sold out. But the good news is we do have more of the findings kit with the earrings. If you've got the, I really urge you, if you've not bought uh, Gemma's um, Quick Makes of Earrings DVD, we're down to the last single figures now. If you want them, you need to, it's a brilliant DVD. It is brilliant. Now, we are genuinely shocked at the price point of this beautiful, with the sterling silver spacers, $79.95 with that, glorious shape of these beautiful drop beads in the Baltic cherry, in the lemon and in the cognac. You've got all three tones there and they all complement each other beautifully. Now those of you that have already checked out, this is what I love about Jewelry Maker, we all know don't we, and if you've just joined us and you're new to Jewelry Maker this is how it works. Even though loads of our regulars have already checked out because they know how this works and if you don't let me tell you. Even though they've already processed their order and checked out their basket, when we take the price lower, which we are going to, they will get the, the benefit of that lower price. It's like, imagine this, right? When you go to the tiller, let's say Waitrose, I don't know, Tesco, Sainsbury's, out, have you ever gone through and then somebody checked out your basket, gone out towards your car, and then one of those women or, or men or whoever come after you with the whoops-a-daisy gun, you know the whoops yellow ticket and said, hang on a minute, let me reprice all your shopping. There you go. Has that ever happened? As it echoes like. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to give you, oh, you, pardon? Seriously? Are you? Mm. You know we've just done those strands at $34.95? We're not doing that. We are bringing you... The whole strand, and even Paul's just gone, whoa, $24.95 on that, Gemma. It's hard to believe. It's just hard to believe. No, belief. Because <laughs> they're like, belief, do you get it, Gemma? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, could I just check how many there are? You think there's 15? Well, hang on a second, because I decided to throw a few off the strand, didn't I? Now, let's, let's just find out how many we've got, right? One, two, three, four, and they're all graduated. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, I've got fifteen on mine, and all those lovely little spaces as well. One pound sixty-six and amber. Amazing. So let's think about this, right? One pound sixty-six times two is three pounds thirty-two. Thank you, Liam, because I was struggling with that. £3.32, so by the time you've had added a head pin and a pair of earring findings, you're going to be able to make those for less than £5. <laughs> it is absolutely brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. I'm thinking a hair vine. Are you? I think it really sort of, you know, woodland, woodland lovely. feel hair yeah. vine. Well, you think about it as well. You know when we do the lovely tiaras and the headpins and the headbands? Mm -hmm. You do a tiara twist on that with any colour wire because rose yeah. gold's going to work, copper, antique bronze, you name it, silver, champagne gold. Um, just, that would be the most fantastic. Can I just, just check, Liam? So sorry. Before, how, ma how many are left? Okay, I've got less than 10. I'm way over allocated in the baskets. If you want that, don't rest on your laurels. Please check out quickly. 
All right, please, 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 please. And I apologise about the strand there. So, in fact, can I borrow that tub? Yeah. But um, well done, well done. Fabulous, that strand. Fabulous. Still got more amber to come. So, ooh, they are lovely. Oh, all of these. You can't go wrong with amber. Am I allowed? I don't know whether now's the time to mention what's happening or do I, shall I, shall I, I'm, I'll tell you later. I'll tell you later oh. about Friday. Oh, oh I can't let my go on there. I'm going to tell you something about Friday in a bit. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, Gemma, do you like those on the wrist? I love these, yeah. These are the sort of, sort of um, design or shape I would wear just one in the centre of like an eslon or a yeah. leather cord. These nice would be nice casual. in the car made, wouldn't they? They would. I'd wouldn't they just? Also as well, now Liam, our producer, has just said he'd wear these. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to see that, uh, that we've got some of the younger gentlemen saying, gentlemen, you can have that, Liam. You can have that, Liam. There, look at him. Oh, thanks. There he is. Look at him. Did you see him there? He's so cool. Um, yes, it's nice to see that the gents are saying they'd wear these. Would you wear these, Michael? Yeah, I would definitely, yeah. You would? So, yeah. Well, that's good to know, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, well. on, a, on a bit of leather. Michael, you're lovely. So, 29.95. Now, do me a favour, would you? Let's have a little look. Uh, if you go to the, uh, the World uh, Wide uh, Web and you type in Baltic Amber and you, and you put in jewellery, right? And then you look at the... Uh, click on shopping. Have a look at some of the prices. Now, I've just looked... I've just seen... No, right, just quickly. You know those earrings we just... You know those um, teardrops we just did, these? Yeah? I have just found... A pair of, in fact, can I show you? Mm. Yeah, you know those drops we've just done at 24.95? 24, mm. and we counted 15, didn't we? Let me just show you this, just to give you an example. I don't normally do this, but I want to show you, look. I'll take the name of the company away. There's your teardrops. Baltic Amber, £85. <laughs> look, on that fish hook that, that uh, we just, yeah, £85. You could replicate that effortlessly, couldn't you? £85. Yeah. That's the first one that came up. First one that first one that came up. Just to give you an idea. Let me plug myself in. What's Karen say? Karen, hello. Have you got any large rough amber nuggets coming up? Um Well, I was just gonna suggest 18. These aren't nuggets, they're a bit higher end than that, Karen, but how about these, darling? What would you think about those? These are... Oh! <laughs> what is going on today? Oh. <laughs> I think Tom sabotaged. Oh, is somebody I sabotaged think, this? I think, I'll I show her I think Tom wants to be producing. He's like... <laughs> Sorry. I do apologise. Here we go, Karen. Sorry, Karen. <clears throat> Look at those. These are classed as geometry beads. Mm. They're very vintage as well. They are very vintage. You know they look great with the tiger iron. Wouldn't they? That we had. Could I just try those on with my pearls, please? They're if I can beautiful. try and hold them and not drop them again. I'm so sorry about that. Here we go. Do you know what's lovely about amber as well, in case you've never worn amber? Amber is fabulous because it's very lightweight. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Is that big enough for you, Karen? They're lovely, aren't they? And also, Karen, because I've just thrown them all over the studio, they should have been forty nine ninety five. Would you like twenty percent off? Twenty percent saving on Baltic Amber of those gym. Those beads are fabulous. I'd love to see one of those with the pearls. Just one would be a feature, wouldn't it, yeah, Gemma? Definitely. Yeah. 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 And of course, the spaces are sterling silver. Of course, they are. <laughs> oh, you're not, Michael. They look great with the um, black spinel in the first kit, Ooh, wouldn't they? Oh, well? yes. Sexy. Sort of... They would indeed. So, what she say? Those are fab. I know they're not quite what you're asking for, Karen, but I don't think we've got those. Mind you, we are doing some phenomenal amber again on Friday, okay? Um, so, if you tune back in Friday morning with myself and Claire McDonald, we've got some more amber coming up. Mm. I could do with a little pot, couldn't I, with that? Where did they come from? Sorry, 18, wasn't it? Yes, sorry about that. 
that's it. Oh, Michael, you're a little, you're a star. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, Karen, I hope, did she get them, Karen? Oh, good luck, Karen. Good luck, Karen. Oh, these are, so, I love how we've got these with a the cubic zirconia in them. I really do. So this comes with the, okay, Liam, this comes with the peg again. So Gemma's just explained to us how to put the peg in. Then you just need a sterling silver jump ring and a chain. We've got those coming up on Friday. <laughs> that is a big piece of amber with the sterling silver peg. Right, let's just see if I can find a pendant. So you know when we just looked at the shopping? Mm. Let's just see if there's a pendant. Uh, pendant, pendant, pendant. Okay, here we go. Okay, Baltic Amber, pendant, um, £89. Here we go, another one, Baltic Amber, um, pendant with the... Oh, that's our... You know the owls we do? You know the owls we do? Oh, look at this. Hang on. You know the owls we do here at Jewelry Maker? Just have a look. There you go, look. You know, we claim £80, £90. Pounds. We're not kidding, look. Online. Baltic Amber Owl Cognac Pendant, £89. Hmm? And we have those owls here at Jewelry Maker, don't we? £89, but slightly different, but not far off. So, yeah. Oh, dear. <laughs> it's not going so well, is it, today? <laughs> oh, God. Do you have those days where everything you pick up, do you just drop? Yeah. Calm down, Zima. Calm down. Calm down. Um. Oh, sorry, right. Gemma's got it. Uh, Michael's gone whizzing across the street. Oh, these pearls are around. These pearls are 11 o'clock today. 11 o'clock today. Look, give us the code. Let's give us the code. We'll put the code in if you want. Do you want to put the code in? No? Okay. Oh. If you are an animal fan, we'll leave. Got a little paw. Oh, that's Lovely. cute. That's you, really cute. It is cute, isn't it? A little paw print. Beautiful. I like it in the gold as well. That's unusual, it's, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, because over at Gemporia, we've always set Baltic Amber into silver. And we've only just, within, I think about the last 12 months, started mm. setting Baltic Amber into gold. And it's a, it really changes the look of the amber, doesn't it? Yeah, I like. I love it because I'm more, I wear more gold than silver. And I you love do, amber. You? So buy and ready made amber jewellery is not really an option because no. you just don't see it in the no. gold so that's so lovely. lovely yeah and a lot of us are massive 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 uh animal fans aren't we a lot of us have got dogs and cats and that paw print i think is fabulous i really do if you like the animal ambers you need to be here friday morning mm. you've honestly every single one of the members of staff here at jewellery maker are desperate to get these Am I allowed to say? Later. We'll tell you later. We'll tell you later. We'll tell you later. Yeah. Okay, my lovelies. Are you enjoying all these ambers? I'll tell you who is enjoying herself, and that's our lovely Gemma Crow across I the am. studio working with the pearls and the Larimar. Larimar. Our limited edition Larimar is now minutes away. Minutes away, okay? So, have I got... Do you get... Oh, so you're getting... So effectively here, we've got three rounds, three pegs in the gold plate sterling silver, so you've got easily a pair of earrings and a ring or a pendant, haven't you? Easily. Mm. Oh, lovely and nice out there, just orbs. You know, that's nice, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. They are beautiful orbs of 12 mil Baltic Amber. You, just to show you, look, you do have the gold plated 925 sterling silver pegs as well that go into the. I mean, they would just look fabulous, wouldn't they? One of those on a sterling silver or a gold plated sterling silver chain, which we do have on the show Friday morning. Hazel's got a question How do you clean amber? Now, I'll tell you what, hang on a second. I, did I, I'm sure I, I'm sure I had a, there's a question I don't know the answer to. Do you know, I don't, carefully, I don't know, I don't know. but, um, 
Do you know what? Yeah, well, I, we're just on a break, so I'll check that. Because, do you know what? I, I know how to clean Larimar, because I'm going to tell you about it after the break. Oh, we'll find out for you, Hazel. And we'll come back to you and let you know. Is that OK? I'm so sorry. I didn't know. don't know that. Do please join us after the break for the Larimar, and we will answer that question, Hazel. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewellery Maker. Jewellery Maker are proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewellery Maker. Are you new to jewellery making? Not sure where to start? Then tune into Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm for our Get Started Hour. One of our fantastic designers will be showing you basic techniques, giving you lots of hints and tips, bringing you one of our specially designed kits for newbies and showing you step-by-step -step demonstrations to get you started on your jewellery making journey. Get started with Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm. Love Jewellery Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewellery Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. <sighs> They're here. I'm very, very, very proud to introduce you to my brand new, designed by me, Czech glass bead. This is the Bobby. And I'll be introducing you to the Bobby on the morning show of July the 28th, where it's going to be it's going to be poignant because um, I've mentioned before on the show that uh, the Bobby Bead is named after my late father, and uh, so the whole morning show will will be all about him. And um, we've got 15 colours, two of which have never been seen before. I'm going to introduce you to the new shape, the new style. We've got a double disc DVD, which we're going to be launching on the show as well. And my partner in crime, Zena, will also be joining me on the show. So that's July the 28th, the morning show, 9 a.m., a brand new launch of the world exclusive to jewelry maker, Bobby Bead. Really hope you can join us. See you then. Are you new to jewellery making? Not sure where to start? Then tune into Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm for our Get Started Hour. One of our fantastic designers will be showing you basic techniques, giving you lots of hints and tips, bringing you one of our specially designed kits for newbies and showing you step-by-step -step demonstrations to get you started on your jewellery making journey. Get started with Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm. At Jewellery Maker, we're always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. 
When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to put it into your basket online or speak to one of our brilliant customer service team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 68,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. We have Larimar rounds. Larimar rounds. What you are looking for in Larimar, ideally, and this is exactly what we've got here, is this sky blue with these wispy clouds within the gemstone. So if you can find this sky blue with these wispy clouds, that's your valuable Larimar, okay? Because you can get impurities, you can get spots, you can get mottled effects in a Larimar and that will, that will detract from the value. These are stunning. It is a limited edition strand. Gemma has been working with them this morning because we gave them to her. Um, in fact, before we start, would you like to see, oh, no, because Michael's not quite got it set up ready. Um, so, what we will do, we will show you the strand. So, the strand, I mean, it's a rare, beautiful gemstone. And, of course, that is usually reflected in the price. It has only one source. And this source is deep in the mountainous jungles of the Dominican Republic where miners dig them by hand in really hot, humid conditions. Now, half the year is often lost to heavy rains because of the climate. Hurricanes, mudslides. And so it is estimated that only 10% of the rough stones of Larimar ever make it to jewellery. Gemma, have you made that this morning? Yeah. Got some... Gemma, you made that this morning? Yeah, there's, we've got quite a few pieces. Right, let me just give you an example before we carry on, right? Let me give you an idea. The, I've just been looking. The average price of a Larimar single stone pendant on the web, I've had a look, is 80 to 85, 90 pounds. And let me give you an example. It's not quite the same. I won't show you the company. So not quite the same as Gemma's done there, but similar, look. Oh yeah, it's quite yeah. similar, isn't it? 85 pounds and we've used one gemstone mm. very stylish that isn't it yeah it is yeah. now Gemma has put am I right in thinking you've used one pearl from the deal of the day yeah coming up at 11 o'clock yeah and one to uh yeah 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 oh did that say I'm so sorry it said turquoise I do oh sorry I'm on Larimar I do apologize I'm so sorry well I'm on the Larimar page um let me find you another one I'm so sorry about that Okay, so this is, well, let me show you this one. Um, Monica Veneda in Selfridges. Here we go, in silver. Again, not exactly the same like for like, but Larimar. £95. In sterling silver, Monica Veneda sold in Selfridges for £95. Okay? So, just to give you an idea. So, it's a limited edition. There are 73 available. 
What we'd like to show you, you know, we've just talked about this one location in these hot, humid conditions where they have mudslides and they, have, they lose, it's so traumatic for them. They lose, and we, they end up at about 10% of the rough that is found is eventually turned into these beautiful polished gemstones. We've got top grade Larimar here, and we've got it in rounds, which is absolutely fantastic. But we want to show you the history of this magical gemstone. It's a lovely VT. It'll give you some history. You may have seen it, you may not. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy just what kind of a journey these gemstones have been on to come to you and I and give us the pleasure of being able to work with and own these stunning gemstones. Have a little look at this. It was an age of fire. Volcanoes were emerging from a tumultuous ocean to become mountains. Lava flows were solidifying to become land masses. As the lava flowed and receded, tunnels and cavities formed that soon filled with unique minerals, crystallizing beautifully out of various chemical compounds. But this volcano was different. It consisted not just simply of ordinary rock, but copper deposits. And as the crystals formed in the cavities, they chemically interacted with the copper, turning the white pectolite crystals into a variety of blues. This is the only place in the world where this occurred, and it would change the future forever. History records that on the 22nd of November of 1916, Father Miguel Domingo Fuertes Loren of the Barahona Parish requested permission at the Dominican Ministry of Mining to explore and exploit the mine of a certain blue rock. Since nobody knew what the Catholic priest was talking about, the request fell through and the heaven blue stone was lost in the limbo of Latin American bureaucracy. While for decades the locals of the Bauruco municipality went to the beach to collect these blue pebbles, it took until the 1970s that the significance of the stone was established. Miguel Mendes, an artisan from Santo Domingo, heard rumors of the rock and went to find it. It took him and a geologist friend, Peace Corps volunteer Norman Rilling, several trips until they could actually find any evidence of it. They knew they had something special on their hands, they just couldn't prove it. A small sample sent to the Smithsonian Institute came back with the note that it was industrial waste. Not until they sent a larger sample to the Institute that it was established that they had found a new type of pectolite mineral. After a long debate over the name, Miguel took his young daughter's name Larissa and the Spanish word for sea, mar, and formed Lari Mar to reflect the mineral's ocean-like appearance. The name stuck. As it turns out, the few stones they found were alluvial sediments washed into the sea by the Bauruco River. An upstream search revealed the in-situ outcrop in the range, and before soon, the Los Chupaderos mine tapped the only Larimar outcropping in the whole world. The 45-minute drive to the mine is a bone-rattling uphill struggle. The road is often taken care of, but a single heavy rain can wash it out completely. Even cemented stretches don't survive the Caribbean weather for long. And yet there are several small communities up here, the last of which is the mine itself. The mining town, a small shanty town, serves as a temporary accommodation for the miners and their families. Since it's so far away from everything, the community brings everything that it needs to sustain itself, living here as one big family. Because like with any family, their lives depend on each other. You wouldn't recognize the area as an extinguished volcano if it were not for the heaps of volcanic rocks dug out from the mine holes. The mines themselves are only a few feet from the shacks, holes dug either vertically or horizontally into the dead volcano. As a matter of fact, some just go down straight vertically before turning horizontally. Others begin horizontally and then go straight into the mount before going vertically and then horizontally again always zigzagging around following the Larimar veins. It's a virtual maze dug into the mountain. And there are dozens of holes and tunnels, perforating the steep slopes like a Swiss cheese. The deepest hole is believed to be at over 500 meters dug deep into the mountainside. The holes are claustrophobically narrow. They're held up by wooden beams and sometimes concrete, and it takes a special kind of courage to venture into them. Indeed, 
mining Larimar is dangerous. Although, according to the miners, cavens are not as common as one would believe, the most common peril is suffocation. To avoid this, each hole has been fitted with large PVC tubes that feed fresh air into them, powered by a primitive turbine. The tubes are also used for communication with the miners underground. One man is always assigned to make sure everything is in order and to stand by at the hole. On any given workday, there are on average 10 to 15 people in every hole, but the deeper the hole, the more people it needs. And there are several dozens of holes, which means there's an average of 600 miners toiling underground in the hole of the area at any given time. Their nationalities vary between Dominicans, Haitians, and even a few Venezuelans, all working side by side, their lives depending on each other. Income is based on shared profits. Groups of miners work in individual holes, and whatever that hole makes is shared equally among the miners. The average is around 500 pesos a day, which translates to about 12,000 pesos a month, or about 240 US dollars, or 200 euros. While not a lot, it is above the country's minimum wage of a little more than 8,000 pesos. And some months they can make much more if there is a big find of good quality. But then a hole also may run dry for months until the new vein is found. In that time, nobody makes any money. You just dig. The risk does not seem to equal the pay. But with few other options in the area besides farming, the miners are glad to work here, always hoping for the next big vein. Once the stones are extracted and taken down the mountain, they're sold to buyers, of which some own Larimar workshops sitting along the coastline. The export of raw stones has been banned to give the local artisans a chance to create unique Dominican-made jewelry. And to buy raw stones is also risky, because the individual rocks need first to be cut open. It is difficult to look into the stone, and if you have bad luck, there's only little of the blue pectolite inside. If the quality is good, the rocks are cut into pieces or slabs, which the artisan uses for his work. The slabs are cut to size, ground to shape, and polished to perfection, always using grinding wheels and water. In the hands of an experienced artisan, it can take only a few minutes, and a beautiful blue cabochon can emerge from a previously gray rock, ready to be set in silver or even gold, depending on the color or the shape of the crystal formation. The volcanic gem we call now volcanic blue sometimes shows as turquoise blue with white clouds, sometimes ocean green, and then sometimes with red copper freckles. And each sheening gem is singular and guards a scene of breathtaking resplendence of an image of the Caribbean Sea turned into a gemstone. All this makes Larimar more than just a pretty rock. It has become the gem ambassador of the Dominican Republic here in the center of the Caribbean. Don't we all want to be there? Are we all looking at the Dominican Republic there, which is just just not far from Haiti? 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 Wouldn't you all love to be in there? That's fascinating as well, though. Isn't it wonderful that we've got people, those locals there in the Dominican Republic, that are prepared to do that for us? I, I wouldn't like to do that, would you? And yet we get the benefit. We get the benefit of beautiful Caribbean Larimar. So, there are two types of Larimar that you might have just heard about. The volcanic blue, uh, the two most valuable styles of Larimar that are highly sought after, the most prized are either the dark volcanic blue, we haven't got those at the moment, it would be great when we could, and if we can, but the other variety is these, which is my personal preference which is the sky blue with the wispy clouds. This is exactly what you want in the sky blue. So you can you see those lovely wispy cloud-like effects in those beautiful Larimars. It is a limited edition on this exquisite, sort of this most unusual, it is the Caribbean colors that perfectly reflect those inviting, glorious coastline waters that we've just seen in that one source location in the Dominican Republic. Um, it's very, very difficult to mine. It's a jungle clad, mountainous region. You've just seen uh, the VT talking about that. So it's very, very difficult to get hold of them. It's a tiny, tiny famed island of Hispaniola in the Dominican Republic. 
and as we said there, that history there, it was originally um, found just over a century ago. Um, the, the founder sadly did not get them to um, sort of uh, believe in the fact that he'd found this beautiful gemstone. And it was only within the last 50 years that we finally got to get hold of Larimar. It's one of the most beautiful treasured gemstones with these cloud-like swirls that you could possibly wish to own it is now if you go to the to the dominican republic or you go on one of the cruise ships around the dominican republic the prices of larimar are much 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 higher because they've got a they've got a you know they've got an audience that is captive isn't it and people are captured by the beauty of the Dominican Republic and of course they get caught up in the holiday vibe and they pay the prices you don't have to do that here today I have a very limited edition of 73 available. We're going to start the clock. The clock gives you 60 seconds and counting, so we all have the same chance. And what I'm going to say to you is a massive good luck. Larimar, it's the only strand of the Larimar rounds that we have. Look at the beauty. I mean, Gemma, you've been working with it this morning, isn't it? Yeah, Lovely. It's absolutely Divine. beautiful. And it's not just how it looks, how it feels yeah, as well. It's exactly. such a weighty, mm. dense gemstone. Yeah. It's gorgeous. And we would urge you to use it with the deal of the day, pearls that are coming up today in just three quarters of an hour. So on these Larimars, um, and it is this summer sky dappled with wispy cloud formations within it. Um, and what I would urge you is to get these, use your, multi, your uh, extended money back guarantee and these Larimars in the whole of the Jewelry Maker Vault, it's our only round strand. Okay, you can check out in a moment on JewelryMaker.com, on the app, on the free phone number at the bottom of your screens with your credit card, your debit card or your PayPal account, whatever you prefer. It's in, the code is in, let me say it to you, WBGP23 for 60 carats of Larimar. Now we've just been looking at Larimar prices, at pendants, of earrings. A single pendant is averaging 85 to 90 pounds online, in stores, in Selfridges. We've just been looking now. So let me just work this out, right? Let's assume we go for ease at 90 pounds, shall we? So could you times two, 90 pounds please by two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 32, please. 2,880 pounds. Let's be realistic. Let's say you and I will sell that for 50 pounds each. Can you times that by whatever I just said? I got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 32. So a realistic £1,600. Now, Gemma, mm. how, you said they're beautiful to work with. Ta they talk are. to me about the experience. I mean, they're just gorgeous. Firstly, I've never seen um, them in a round. So no. I've only seen them in sort of nuggets or exactly. uh, um, cabochons. Absolutely, um, so it's a joy. Yeah, so having them like this so easy to work and incorporate into your designs is, is lovely. The drill hole is really significant as well. Fantastic. Which is, you know, because you do sacrifice carrot weight when you have a bigger do. drill hole. Yeah. It's what we need as jewelry makers. And so to keep the cost to what I know where, where we're going. Yeah, it's look incredible. at her face, yeah. Ooh, I, I nearly let the cat out of the bag there. Can I just I? quickly mention, half the stock's gone. Half the stock is gone. I only started with, this is 73. Okay, now listen to this as well. Please don't leave in your baskets. Oh God, really don't want you to leave in your baskets. <laughs> the web price is where you're checking out. We're not stopping, we are not stopping there. We're nowhere near that necklace, Gemma. It's quite Aztec, isn't it? Mm. It's, um, you know, and the colours work really well. We gave this strand to Gemma at seven o'clock this morning. And she's been on, sh on, on the show with me since eight o'clock this morning. How on earth have you made all that lovely jewellery? Well, it's just, like I said, it's a really simple strand to work with. They're just, you know, lovely through drills. You can do really simple designs with them because of the, because of the you know, the kudos they've got. Yeah. You don't need to... Go all yeah. right. I mean, I've made a stretchy and I feel so indulgent making a stretchy. I know, it's with, just uh, ridiculous. With yeah. Larimar. Yeah, that's unbelievable. Why okay, not? right then, can I just mention, I'm not going to tell you where we're going to. How are you going to do this, Lynn? Because I think people are going to be shocked. Just one almighty drop. And I'm, the one, I'm giving you a clue here at what we might be doing, what we might be taking away. Yeah? 
on this star by. Yeah? Oh, that's stretchy. A stretchy with Larimar. I mean, really? I know. Wow. <laughs> that is... Do you know what I would... Can I make a suggestion? And I know a lot of you are. I bet you've got a well done. Anne's had two. Angela's had three. Suzanne's had two. Angela's... Another Angela's had... Another Angela! It's all the Angela's! Another Angela's had two. Um, Margot's had two. A uh, collector in Gloucestershire's had two. A uh, collector in Suffolk's had three. Alison's had two. Anne's had two. Neil and Linda have just got it right. If we were to take the hundred pounds away, everybody's just gone. We've all everybody just went. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if we were to do that, would you be happy? Yeah. Yeah. And why don't we throw in the postal package in as well? If you're in, I'm talking mainland UK. So the mainland UK postal package in for the whole day, three pounds ninety-five. So we knock that off. And the hundred and go to sixty-four ninety-five on those rounds. Now we just talked about fifty pounds a pendant. Yeah, we just said we they're selling it, they're in Selfridges right now at ninety pounds a pendant. Two pounds per Larimar. This is best grade, top grade, quality, stunning Larimar in rounds. I've got to warn you now, we're nearly sold out. How many? What have we got left? Ah, oh, 73. 12. No. And, oh, sorry, panicking. How many? Seven left. And listen to the basketeers. Susan, Collector, Stephanie, Elaine, Carolyn, Dawn, Janice, Karen, Kaz, Hilma, Collector, Deborah, Rosemary, Paula, Encarna, Donna. And that is... Susan, you got them in Essex. Well done. That, okay, six left. Six left on those beaut... I think they've gone. <sighs> it's hardly surprising, is it? I'm so sorry we don't have enough. Oh, look at how many of you missed out. Oh. Right, can I just give you a, a little, what I would do if I was you. Those of you that don't, sometimes, sometimes when people have allocated and haven't checked out, occasionally as the day progresses, mm -hmm. doesn't always happen, occasionally, one might pop back up. You can also ring the call centre and add it to your wish list. I had this recently, actually. I ordered um, a silver plate findings kit about four months ago, and I got a phone call from the call centre saying, would you still like it? It's gone back into stock. I thought it was really good service. Good. I was really chuffed with that. A massive... Ma Can I just say as well, uh, Gemma, mm -hmm. thank you so much for creating those designs. They're oh, stunning. I've got to say thank you for giving them me to work with, because, yeah. you know... Yeah, you've got uh, some beautiful jewellery there, yeah, haven't you? It's a, yeah, yeah. That's a really rare opportunity as yeah, well. Absolutely. So, yeah, absolutely. Now, these pearls that these will go beautiful with are 35 minutes away. They are... I tell you what, they make you feel amazing, these pearls. It's hard to believe they're real. They look so good. They do, don't they? Yeah. Those are the real deal. Coming up in half an hour. Congratulations to every single one of you. And those of you that multiple, that's what I would have done. I'd have multiple, mm. I'd have sold them, made the money, and then treated myself to the whole strand, because I think you'd pay, you'd pay for it with the profit, wouldn't you? Should we keep it with the blues? Yeah? Yeah. Are we doing those now? Shall we? Star by or just straight in? Straight in, okay. Congratulations on the Larimar. Well done. Mm. So, I went out uh, Saturday night for my first overnight stay at a hotel since lockdown. I had a lovely mm. time and I wore my kyanite ring did to you? celebrate. I did. I wore my floral kyanite double flower ring and it looked fabulous. Yeah. Now, these would go nice with a Larimar. Absolutely. Oh, did Lynn, what she say? I'd like to say congratulations to everyone who got that beautiful Larimar spectacular deal team. Thank you, Liz. Mm. Linda said, hooray, I got mine. Thank you. Well done, Linda. Hooray as well at that prize. Well done, yeah. darling. Absolutely. Oh, thanks, Liz. Lovely. Okay, so blue kyanite, I will show you with my high luster deal of the day pearls. Doesn't that look regal, royal, That's fabulous? Cool. That is one of my favourite combinations, you know. Yeah. Because the pearl sort of sheen within the, yeah. within the kyanite. Really exactly. Like. exactly. That's exactly yeah. what happens. That high luster with that lovely whitish sheen that you get in a well-cut kyanite. Stunt. Pardon? I'm gone a minute. I'm gone. Right, just a minute. 
It's, you are saying 6D. Mm. So 6D. What are you saying then? No, I don't really, I'm sorry, no. Mm. No, no. Michael, you're going to have to shout this price for me, Michael, because I don't, like, I don't want to get I'm involved. And I it. got upset with the chrome dots the other day and nearly, <laughs> nearly jumped on you, didn't yeah. I, Gemma? Yeah, you did. <laughs> it's £16 and 95 pence. Disassociate. I think we should just sort of... Uh, 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 right. Not get involved in that. Yeah, thank you. Uh, 16.95. <sighs> yeah, yeah, you can hear Gemma having a little, a little sigh. That's on there. Do you want to see what the Larimar? 71p. That's a pack of mints. That's a pack of polos with a hole in. Yeah. Yeah. Of a, can you imagine going into the shop? Can you imagine going into the supermarket or to a jeweller saying, I will trade you that size of genuine, stunning Nepalese kyanite. I'll exchange it for a packet of polo mints. They'd all be like, Have you mm. lost the pot? Have you. Do you know what, as well? We are not asking you. We're not saying or restricting you or saying you can't have... You know, like, like the other day when I went to buy some hand wash, there's still so you can only have three. I went, oh, all right then. Uh, none of that. You can have as many as there are available. If you want to take the lot, it's your prerogative. Yeah? 16 95 Awesome. Do you know Liam gets a round of applause for that? <laughs> take, a bow, take a bow, Liam. Take a bow. Uh, Kaz, hello. I've seen your name a few times, lovely. You're having some lovely treats today. I'm... Oh no, she's really sad. Oh no. How long does it get better? I'm really sad. Mm. I put the Larimar in my basket. Then the postman knocked the door. I lost that, so I'm having kyanite and pearls. Uh, half smiley face. <laughs> Remember what I said though, Kaz. Do keep checking the web and the app because you yeah. never know. One might bounce back. Now these pearls, you are never. Do you know the price of these yet? No, I know right. what I said. Watch, watch Gemma's face now. Right, where's, <laughs> me, where's my list? Watch Gemma's face when I show her this, right? She is going to be oh. absolutely... Now, where are we talking? Here we go. Let me show you that price there, Missy. Now, watch. Keep the camera <laughs> on Gemma Crow's face, is, right, Gemma this Crow? This is awful. Top. Oh. It's a good job we got a lot of them. <laughs> That's uh Yeah. That's not what you thought, was it, Missy? No. Definitely no, not. No, 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 no. <laughs> Do you know what, Kaz? We're gonna turn that half a smiley face into that massive <laughs> Put some lovely connectors in that pearl necklace mm -hmm. and i'm thinking how about the i love these look at these you're getting two sets of the heart with the cubic how about those in between those pearls Gemma? look at them they're gonna be perfect let's have a look oh yeah they're yeah. lovely oh that's yeah that would be perfect it would, wouldn't it's it? got that lovely sort of romance feel to it, it has, as well hasn't it? hasn't it yeah makes you think of the tiffany doesn't it yeah the it tiffany does. heart it does there are 10 of those because we're giving you two five packs These, we know they're sterling silver and gold plate, thank you. It seems that you don't, Liam. It's when you br <laughs> Do you know what? They're like, they're like 80p each. It's an amazing price. Though. How do we do that? Now, remember as well, on Friday morning, we've got gold-plated sterling silver chains coming in. Yeah? Which we'll tell you about the amber shortly. We promise. We'll, remind me to tell you before we go off air. Will you at 12 o'clock? Well, let's say go off air. We, we finish our show and then the, the afternoon show take over. Do please remind me to tell you. Will you remind me, Gemma, Michael, Liam, yeah. Paul, Paton? Yeah. Um, 80 pence. All you need to do is add that. You don't even need a jump ring, do you, Gemma? Just mm -hmm. onto a chain. Just hang it on Literally, a chain. Yeah. It, in fact, that's a really sort of contemporary way of wearing yeah. it. Yeah, just absolutely. Just straight onto a chain. Just straight, straight onto some earrings. Yeah. Yeah. Because they'd hang like that on a chain, wouldn't they? Yeah. So it really highlights the cubic zirconia. Yeah. Really be lovely. lovely. 7 95 yeah? Okay, well done on those. 
Should we do a what? A morning show? So I think everything you've done so far has been a morning show special, hasn't it? Yeah. Eh? Hey? We love spoiling you, you know. You were, we think you're worth it. Mm-hmm. I've sat on David Ginola's knee. Did you? Yes. You know the, the advert, because you're worth it. I've sat on his knee. We were doing karaoke in a bar in Portugal, me and the girls on a Hindu. In walks David Ginola. He is fit in real life. Is he? Oh, yeah, and we just pounced on him. <laughs> Water. He's very nice. <laughs> anyway, I digress. <laughs> Just because I'm worth it. Ooh, talk about. Oh, that's incredible. Look at just that one. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look at that beast. Yeah. These, these are lovely. I, I love these in with fabrics and yeah. textiles. They yeah. got that, that just, they just work so they well do. with silks and shibori. Yeah. They've got that sort of fantasy feel to them, haven't they? They have, haven't they? And that isn't just the only colour. Look, that's your purple. And then you've got your greeny, greeny blue. Look at that. Oh, that's a nice colour. Would you like a sneaky cheeky clearance? Means you get more, more treats for your pennies. And it is pennies, isn't it, pretty much? £8.95, £4.48 and £4.47. That's... You, I don't think you're going to get more drama and impact for that price than you will with these, you well, know. What I love about these are, these are guaranteed to get a conversation starting. Absolutely, aren't yeah. They? And, I, and I think more is more with these as well. Put them all together. Would you really? Yeah, yeah. Would you? Like a big collar with, like... Lots of them See, all together. I'd be scared together. to do that, but you would do that, wouldn't you? I would you? definitely, yeah, definitely do. I have done that. So, you know, maybe a gizmo coil, links in between, simple links in between, a nice oh, sort gizmo, of solid... Oh, gizmo coils would be nice, nice yeah. A solid co yeah. collar. Yeah, that'd be lovely. Yeah. OK, right then, you can grab those. I'll just give you an idea of how many you've got on each strand. I've got two, four, six there, two, four, six, seven. So there's 30, seven and six. That is right, isn't it, 13? <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. 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 Seven and six. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Seven and six. Seven and six. Seven and yeah, six. I'm just having absent moments, I think. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> Sorry. Gen generally, when I'm chatting. <laughs> it's like my fella keeps saying to me, I talk that fast and I'm yucking on it. And he just says to me sometimes, will you just finish the sentence? <laughs> oh, it's boring. <laughs> Get all three of these. Mm. Oh, and you got like the pear drop ones, look. Yeah. Oh. See these are that. Oh, that one with the half drew, that's nice. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. yeah. See the, those on long lariat style mm -hmm. pieces. Yeah. Fabulous. I got the three here, darling. We've now given you three strands. They're two ninety nine a strand. <laughs> £2.99 a strand. You'd be lucky to get a slab like that yeah. for £2.99. Yeah, you try it. going into any gemstone sort of stall or anything like that and buy one of those for £2.99. Can I show you the last strand? Because I haven't shown you the last colour yet. Oh, no, they wouldn't lock you out of the store. They said, there's the door. Mm. There's the door. Politely remove yourself from my uh, establishment. £2.99 a strand. Wow. Wow. Right, I'll tell you what, can we work out a price each? Hang on a second, Lee. Let me take those down. Hang on. So, 2, 4, 6, 7, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 of those. 45p each. Yeah. 45 pence each of those. <laughs> That's amazing. Do you know, I bought a necklace recently. I actually bought one. Um, and it's got a fake druzy on it. And, uh, you know... Oh. Why? It's got a fake druzy. Why? Like, but when you're looking at that price. But why did you do that? Because I just like the style of it. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. You can have a real one for 45p. I know. But it just had one on the end. So it had a little druzy and then a tassel from the bottom of the druzy. Just... Yeah, but there's tassels on these strands as well, Gemma. I know. I know. I know. I liked the whole overall look of it. It's nice. <laughs> you know that emoticon on your phone, the... I love her. <laughs> Sorry, say again, darling. But I was absent again. I was take, uh, doing a Gemma. Gotcha. <laughs> 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 oh, 
Mm. Now remember as well, in the next hour with the pearls, the pearl spray, the silks, the bindings, the wire guardians, the French wire, you name it, we've got it. Um, we have got gold-plated sterling silver findings for the earrings. Butterflies, those are lovely, lovely little I love that, but we do so many different designs of connectors now, don't we? Oh, they're pretty. They are lovely, aren't they? Yeah. Got and that is very, that is very on trend, isn't it? It is on like, trend. It's the sort of thing that you see in layers, like that mm -hmm. would be the top layer, yep. and then the next one, and then the next one, that's gorgeous. Yeah. Lovely connector. So just under two grams of sterling silver with your gold plating over, uh, over the top. WYRF35 on your butterflies. Oh, I've got to spit it out, Liam, go on. <laughs> Would you put sterling silver? Like, absolutely. I like, I like this sort of, um, the cool tone with the, with yeah. the, yeah, I think silver with Larimar. But then again, mm. the thing is... I'd put it with gold, I, cause See, I you quite like, like the richness of it. But this is the, th and it goes with rose. Yeah. But the thing is, when you make your own jewellery, this is the beauty of making your own jewellery, I wear silver, you wear gold. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of us like rose gold as well. The thing is, there is no right or wrong. I like silver, I'd put Larimar with silver, Gemma wants gold. You, what mm. do you like? Yeah, you know. Well, I'll tell you what we'll do. If we give you, my lovelies, oh, they're posh. Ooh, I've got a posh shepherd. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh no, lovely boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, how many pairs you get there? Six pairs. That's a lot. And um, hang on a second. They're stamped as well, aren't they? This is the reverse. So the, um, so just to show you that they are stamped 925. Look, can you see? Look, in the, in the flat there. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So 925. If you turn them around, that has got a slightly longer kickback mm -hmm. than our standard with the ball. And then that, this is something to, to learn. Because I sat at, here at Jewelry Maker <laughs> for about a year until I realised, I kept putting jump rings on, so I realised that that bottom bit opens like a jump ring. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> I didn't know that. No, we don't. If you don't know, you don't know. You don't know. You don't know. Now, I'd like to just highlight. Oh, and there they are, being being used for what they are intended. When I, I think it was not last Christmas or Christmas before, I bought some sterling silver shepherd hooks, a pack of one off our jewelry maker website. They were one pound ninety nine, and I thought that was a wicked deal. Mm -hmm. So if that was still the case. You'd be talking twelve pounds, wouldn't you? Yeah. And yet, even though we know silver and gold prices went up dramatically, we're at seven ninety-five. So, for si what is that per pair? One pound thirty-two. So we've considerably gone down in price, haven't we? And those aren't your standard shepherd hooks; those are the posh ones. Mm. One pound thirty-two. It's so really if you good. get the pearls today, if yeah. you get the Larimar today, if you get that Kyanite today, if you get the Boulder Opal, if you got the Beryl from earlier, all of these treats will go beautifully with these gemstones today and pearls. Yeah. And I think, I think with you actually, with the Larimar, let me show you with the Larimar. So if you get any of those Larimars, they have sold out, I'm so sorry. Sorry Kaz, I don't want to upset you again. But Gemma's right, with that gold plated Stunning silver, yeah, mm. incredible, well done. We are now 20 minutes away from those, but what, buy one, get one free? I say you buy one, you get one free. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, such a, catch, such a catchy, uh, irritating, yes. Uh, it's all right. <laughs> you know I texted him the other day about the adverts, I was on with you, isn't I? Go on. I was, I was on with you when well, we had on. the texting about the adverts the other day and the theme tunes. Wasn't me, love, but Thank, thanks, thanks. It was thanks. you and Lucy. Yes. Oh, thanks. I, I knew it was... Uh, anyway, I've been singing adverts ever since. <laughs> <laughs> what advert have you been singing? <laughs> well, it's the one that we didn't say. <laughs> oh, oh, OK. They're going to tell me in a minute. Apparently, it might be a bit naughty knowing this lot. <laughs> Adverts are raised. I don't look at adverts anymore. I just fast. Ooh. Oh. Tick agate. Oh, if you got the iron 
tiger's eye earlier. We did a deal this morning in the eight o'clock hour of sparkling, beautiful, faceted rondelles of eye and tiger's eye. It was a double trouble deal. It was, I think, six pound 48. Dogs, I've now got a finger of fudge stuck in my head. Oh, great, a finger of fudge. Just, just enough to give the kids a treat. Hey. Just for a cup of goodness. I'm going to do, do, do. <laughs> oh, dear. What's your favourite advert song? I like the R. White's lemonade drinker. He's a secret drinker. He was good. Seven ninety-five. I'm a secret lemonade drinker. Seven ninety-five on that's your. That's you get both, by the way. That's amazing. Isn't Aren't it? they beautiful, Gem? I love yeah. these. these. I are... love the markings in these. Yeah, absolutely love them. Can and the just, colours. Can we just go through each one? Because I feel that we're not giving that. Look at them. Now that, look at the backdrop, that needs to be with my top, that one, look. Mm. Look at these, look at them though. They've got a lovely depth to them, Gemma, as well. They have, they have. They're like, the edge of that. They're like Garnet in Botswana, Agate had a baby, that's what they're like. Yeah! They look gorgeous together, Perhaps they did they? in lockdown. Maybe they did. Perhaps they did, yeah. <laughs> Perhaps in lockdown they got it on. Aren't they beautiful? Seven ninety five. Well done, Jenny. Well done, Collective. Well done, R E in South Yorkshire who's just up there. Oh, hang on, you're all multi buying now. Mm. Ella, 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 Norma, Collector, Mandy, Sue, Alison, Lynn, and Lynn. There's two Lynns. One's in Greater Manchester and one's in Lanarkshire. I don't have many left though. Sorry. Quick, 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 quick. Mm. Veet. Oh, well done. That's a great deal, Liam. Moving on, up, moving on. Up. I grew. Where did I get those from? You are absolutely right. I'm just testing. Are you looking at nine? I thought you were. Have you sat on my white bust? No. Oh. Hang on. Watch my necklace. Watch my necklace. It's like a million over there. <laughs> it's like I'm having a bat home. Today'd be great, mate. If you wouldn't mind. What about? It? Like you just stepped out of the salon. <laughs> so not <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Can you not sing that one? I haven't had my hair cut since March. <laughs> Everyone's like, we know. <laughs> right then. Saganitic quartz slices. See, these are lovely, aren't they? If you want to make some really contemporary yeah. pieces, these are ideal. You know, you can bezel set them as well with your seed beads and things like that. That's look great. Not really, because that, that, that sort of sort of exaggerate and emphasise the edges, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah, and these sort of less. I've seen these lovely designs recently with the like less perfect shapes, so yeah. um, not perfect symmetrical rounds or ovals irregular. and things. Irregular shapes. Irregular, that's it. but very earthy and sort of organic pieces with seed beads, and these would be ideal for that. Mm. You're getting two strands. Not one. Oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, she says. Let me just check. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I thought you might True. not have meant, noticed that look. You get that one and you get another one. I'll say you buy one. You, you are getting one free there at 7 95 aren't Bog you? Bog off, scene. Excuse, pardon? Bog off. Bog off. That's not very nice, is it? Oh, buy one, get one. That's not very nice, Michael. Buy one, get one free is what he was saying. On your sagonitic quartz, those slices of sagonitic quartz. From Brazil. Who's been to Brazil? None of us. No. Margaret. Oh, Margot. Morning, JM. I like the ad where her husband likes this tea and that tea, but she likes gin. What? <laughs> Fab show. What's that? And she likes gin. Is that you and George, Margot? <laughs> Does George like his tea and you like your gin? I'm, I'm into raspberry gin at the minute. I'm oh, obsessed yeah. with raspberry gin and I freeze raspberries, fresh raspberries. Don't use ice. I use the frozen raspberries as the ice and when that's finished and you eat, oh, 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 so nice. My friend's got me into gin. Oh, gin's amazing. Gin is amazing. Right, she's got me into her gin. Like, <laughs> oh, right, okay. She's got a massive library of them. Like, Yeah, I've, I've got oh. a whole cupboard of every kind of gin. So beautiful. So, now, you know this um, beautiful pearl necklace I'm wearing? Let me just show you. It's done it with a toggle. Mm. Yeah? So, do you see that toggle in situ on my pearl necklace? Would you like that toggle? 
so you can recreate that design, would you? Yeah. Well, that's very convenient, because if you would, I've got it here. A toggle, toggle, toggle. Some of us have our favourite clasps, don't we? What's yeah. your favourite clasp, Gemma? I think more often than not, I use a toggle clasp. Do you? Yeah, a toggle yeah. or a hook. Yeah, but Why do you go for a toggle? They're really easy to do it behind your neck, you know, if you're doing them yep. up. They're really easy to do it. Mm -hmm. I usually wear weighty pieces of jewellery, and they're you very do. good for weighty pieces of jewellery. Oh, that's good to know. Because the more weighty they are, the... Ah. The less, and less likely they are to untangle. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Um, and they're easy for your wrist as well. Yeah, brilliant for bracelets. Yeah, brilliant. I mean, a tennis bracelet tends to have a toggle on, doesn't it? Yeah, just really, yeah. really useful. And what I love about that is that's just pure, simple, classic toggle bar. So you toggle clasp with the T-bar, and they are lovely to do. You can see them in, in, in situ there in the jewel. And the lovely thing is, like, like Gemma just said as well, you don't just have them at the back because they are absolutely functional but also a feature. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you just decided to throw, throw a random price in. Yeah. Okay, for sterling silver. 1.7 grams of sterling silver, bearing in mind there. 1.7 grams. We do have a findings pack coming up. You know, if you're thinking, well, that's all very good, jewelry maker, but I need some jump rings. Well, we've got a findings pack coming up with shepherd hooks, bolt ring clasps, spacers, jump rings, head pins with pearls on. Have you seen mm. that finding kit? Yeah, I'm really looking at it, it looks lovely. Got the 40 piece sterling silver findings pack we've got coming up, and it does have jump rings and it does have head pins and it does have everything you need. And we also have the silver French wire coming up in the next hour as well. Yeah? So, well done. Everybody's multi buying. Good for you. Good for you, my darlings. So I'll just show you that again. Just show you that in my um, in my in my pearl earring uh, necklace. There you go. Look. So all you do, just in case anybody out there doesn't know how one works. There you go. Look. There is your toggle. There is your bar, and you just simply pop it through, twist it through, and that's it. Mm. It's stylish, though, isn't it? It is they? stylish. It is stylish. Yeah. yeah. Very stylish and nice and easy to do up, especially on the wrist. Is it Nikki? What's she say? Candy cane gin is amazing. Candy mm. cane. Oh, you'd have to have that at Christmas, wouldn't you? Mm. Yeah. I bought you some Palmer Violet, didn't I? Do you remember for your birthday? He likes Palmer Violet. But Palmer Violet. Palmer Violet. I like grapefruit and raspberry. You like. Just, just gin in there's general. A, well, I like the cocktails. I like the... Oh, do you? Yeah, so I had a, oh. a racing car nice. gin. Nice. Oh, my word. It was amazing. Nice. It's like it, a bit like mojito, actually. Yeah. So, what's your favourite gin? <laughs> text in 60777. Start your text with JM Studio. Nikki likes candy can. I'm going to have a look for that. I didn't know about that. That's lovely. It's a bit early, obviously. <laughs> Say again, darling. Ooh, is this the Azure Malachite? Is it? As you're right, Malachite. Good thing. These are amazing, Gemma. These have got Gemma's name written all over them. Yeah, again, another stone I absolutely love. They just yeah. look like little planets. They, they do, they? don't they? They are works of art, they are. Look at the colours and the, the texture and patterns. Yeah. It's just so beautiful. Do you know what? Can I just put that against my skin as opposed to on the... Because um, I was losing it against my top then, so sorry about that. They are stunning. Mm. So as you write... Look at that marquise as well. <whistles> it is fabulous. Is it? Those are natural, you know. They are beautiful, Mat aren't they? Natural. <laughs> These should be £70. Pounds. We are 10 minutes away from the deal of the day, pearls. Who's excited? We Me. are. <laughs> we are massively excited for you, even though there's only 140 chances. 147 chances, which is low for a deal of the day, but my goodness me. If you've got the Larimar, you're going to want them. If you've got the Kyanite, you're going to want them. If you've got the Beryl, you're going to want them. St the price will amaze you. But it's the feel of these pearls. They were more mm. weighty than usual, weren't they? They felt such to, quality. To be honest, I, I gave you my first price before, I, before I'd really examined them. And sitting here, what, looking at you, wearing them, they are exquisite. They really are they beautiful. Are 
So I think my price would have gone up a bit, I've given a bit more time to I'm exactly the same as you. Digest. Until I felt them and the weight of them and the quality of them, I would have, I would have definitely gone up. I'd have said 79, 95. Mm. Yeah, a lot lower. <laughs> a lot lower, Gemma's saying. So. <laughs> Staffed. It went straight in the right box. Mm. I just dropped that gem, so it went straight in the right box. That was ace. Oh. Okay, which one, darling? Sorry? Liam, sorry? Sorry, it was my fault. I didn't catch. Amateur. Wow. Those are drilled. I knew you'd like these. <laughs> these are drilled, massive, amazing <clears throat> chunks of stunning Bolivianite amateur. Wow. Yeah, wow. They're gorgeous. They are gorgeous, aren't they? And they're drilled as well, does it say? It says they're drilled. No, so I've, I've got, got like a... Oh, I can see one in the recording. I'm just trying to see, because I've got my con... Ah! Oi! Yi! So, yikes! These are like beautiful pendulum style. Look at that! I'll tell you what, that drill hole there, look, that's a standard head pin, bags of room through that hole. And what a great place that we've... What an unusual place that we've drilled those, Gemma. Yeah, they're, they're fabulous. They're just perfect for very, yeah. very on trend sort of healing jewellery. Absolutely. You know, that sort of thing with special messages attached. Yeah, totally agree. Yeah. Um, they've gone. Well done. Right, then I'll tell you what. Um, please, I, can we, just before we, we move to the break, can we just have one stunning close-up of my uh, necklace? These... Fabulous pearls, these high luster, amazing quality pearls that look sensational. They look so expensive. The feel of them, the weight of them, you know they're real when you when you feel them. They are just stunning. You can get them after the break. I have 147 for you. They will sell out really quickly. Gemma's going to talk to him about them as well. And we do have the sterling silver findings. We have the gold plated findings. We have this wire end sterling silver guardians. We have the French wire. We have the pearl spray. We have the silk. We have it all. See you after the break. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewellery Maker. proud to work alongside some of the biggest brands in the industry. Keep watching for these brands and many more here on Jewelry Maker. Are you new to jewellery making? Not sure where to start? Then tune into Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm for our Get Started Hour. One of our fantastic designers will be showing you basic techniques, giving you lots of hints and tips, bringing you one of our specially designed kits for newbies and showing you step-by-step -step demonstrations to get you started on your jewellery making journey. Get started with Jewellery Maker every Thursday at 6pm.
love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account, you can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select continue as guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker, we're always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to put it into your basket online or speak to one of our brilliant customer service team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 68,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. about before I went to sleep last night I was thinking about pearls but do you know what I was thinking before I even talk about the pearls that I'm wearing did you see the photographs of uh, the Queen and Prince Philip at, at, um, at, at Beatrice isn't it it's her wedding a very uh, intimate wedding just 20 of them including Prin uh, the Queen and Prince Philip and the Queen is always wearing her pearls now can you imagine when we go to the Tower of London and we see those amazing jewels that, the, that is uh, at the Queen's disposal, disposal, basically. She can wear, and we're talking some of the most incredible spinels and rubies yeah. and diamonds and emeralds. I mean, under, the, under um, Buckingham Palace is this massive jewellery vault that we don't even get to see full of jewels. And I'm talking about jewels that have been bestowed on, like Moldavite tiara that was given to the Queen by the, the Swiss government. Mm -hmm. um, when she'd been on the throne for 10 years. Imagine having all of that at your disposal, yeah. right? And you're the queen. What does she choose to wear all the time, pretty much every day since she was 25? What does she wear every day? What did she choose to wear to be painted, to be celebrated for all time as the longest reigning monarch? So, yeah. Pearls. Three, was it? Pearls. Three, Three strand, strand pearls. pearls. Yeah. Now, what I think about that is... This is the Queen, our beloved Queen, and we're talking obviously about us here in the UK. And then there's me and you, mm -hmm. everyday working folk, you know, 
we work hard, we pay our taxes, and we, we too, we also, I think this is amazing. I was thinking about this before I went to bed last night. I was thinking, isn't it awesome that we get to wear what the Queen gets to wear? Yeah. Yeah, do you know what I mean? And yeah. like, you know, it's like I've been watching, I don't know about you, if you watch any of these lovely movies today and every time there's a movie and every time they want to depict somebody that's of nobility or royalty or stardom, or what do they all wear? Mm. Pearls. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they? it's just a symbol of yeah, um, you know, success and status, Absolutely. isn't it? Absolutely. You think you go you go to Tiffany's in New York, one of the most esteemed jewellers that everybody wants. You get you land in New York and you want to go to Tiffany's. What's one of the mainstays of their collections year in year out consistently? Pearls. Yeah. Every high end designer will use pearls, and do you know why? Because because. Pearls make they, they are they illuminate, so they make you look. I think pearls make you look younger. I mm. really do. They make you feel fabulous. They are a natural highlighter, illuminator for your skin, no matter what skin tone. They're ageless. They're timeless. Again, if you want that classical look, you've only got to add. Now, what we've added in here is just some of the little Swarovski uh, rhodium. I've got some of these actually. We. I, we, we these are, we don't have any of these today, I'm afraid, but they are fabulous. These were the little uh, spaces that we did. But we do sterling silver spaces all the time. We've got spaces in the findings kit today. These are high luster. Now, we've gone for a classical look here. Mm. They look so expensive. Gem has gone more contemporary with the same strand. So, this is what I love about Gemma. Instead of going for classical, Gemma's going full-on fashion. <laughs> Yeah, well, I think, I think it's, you know, we've got that style that you've got on there, that very bridal traditional style, yeah. but, you know, it's not limited to that. Pearls no. are high fashion again. For the first time in, in years, they're, they're really high fashion they're again. They're, back, they're yeah. really, really yeah. fashionable, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, I mean, Chanel is just using them in everything at the moment. I yeah. know Chanel's famous for their pearls, but they're everywhere now. Um, on the high streets, mimicked on the high streets for yeah. similar prices to what you can buy the real thing here for. Absolutely, you and know. this is the thing that we're saying yeah. today. Yeah, this is such a good opportunity. The luster of these is really obvious. You can see that shine there, absolutely bouncing off your screen. Beautiful interaction with light, and when those go into natural daylight, oh my goodness. But what I want to, now this is something I can't get across to you, and I promise you faithfully, when you get these home and you pick them up out of your parcel, you'll get, ex you'll go, ah, get what she means. Because normally when you pick up a pearl, there isn't that much weight to them. There is a, a new, no. th there is a bit more weight than you'd normally expect from a gemstone. Yeah. But these, but these have got a really, really quality feel to, real, they they're different, aren't they? Yeah, they, they are, they are absolutely superb. I, they, they, they keep impressing me you know the more i'm working with them the more i'm looking at them over there on your neckline the more beautiful they're they're becoming you know and um yeah and they're so white they're amazing aren't they? yeah they're really bright really bright beautiful and i'll tell you how many pearls we've got in a moment do you know the largest and most how much the largest and most valuable pearl is in the world what it's worth a singular pearl one million pounds. One million pounds, no. Try adding two zeros to that. A hundred million dollars for the largest individual pearl. Blimey. Hundred million dollars. Wow. Wow. But look at that. They're bright, they're uplifting, they will work, and we've got the wonderful, wonderful Talk of the Town Pearl Spray, we've got the findings, we've got the silks, we've got the French wire, we've all added in for you this morning by our producer Liam. Right, let's give you all the same opportunity, please. They are, and again, do message in and tell us what price you think they're going to be. They're, I mean, look, I, I, just before that clock starts, I'm so sorry, do you know what? I know this sounds, I'm so, I don't very often look at myself in the mirror and think, oh, you look lovely. That, I think, is, makes the whole, it makes, it makes the outfit, it mm. makes your clothes look better, it makes you look better, it makes you feel fabulous. Yeah. yeah. How can you put a price on that at the minute? No, no, absolutely. You know, look that's at, what you're right. Yeah, you can't, and look how, look how phenomenal they are. They're, 
now earlier on today as well in the in the eight o'clock hour we had these beautiful screw um, uh, ball clasps uh, in rose gold plate sterling silver yellow gold plate ster sterling silver beautifully set packed with cubic zirconia they would be ideal for this mm -hmm. okay right then let's set the clock please Paul have you seen also like the 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 surface of them is almost mother of pearl because you've got the I'm the, so glad you the said that. pinks I'm looking really closely here and you've got like the the pinks and the silvers and that that yep. green and it's just the, the iridescence is amazing which will never come through on the camera you will be bold the best time to go outside in your pearls to see them at their very best is midday balance light please if you are one of the lucky few people that got those larimars please get these pearls you will never regret it the larimar and the pearls together look so beautiful we'll show you that design of gemmas again in a moment but these pearls, do you know how many pearls I'm counting on this strand on mine in the studio? If you see the pearls with the, you know the pendant in the, you think 50, can we just show the pendant with the larimar above it, with the, with the sunshine? Can you see it? Mm. Okay, get ready, three, two, one. I have 53 high-end pearls on this strand. 53. And they're sizable, look. Your average size of a pearl is about 5 mil. Each, each time a pearl increases by 1 millimeter, you're talking an extra 20% price-wise each mil. So that's 5 to 6, 6 to 7, 7 to 8, 8 to 9 mil there we've got. These are high luster, fabulous weighty pearls, and I mean that in the nicest sense possible. And do you know what? First two people, have, first three people have checked out three and three and two. Next person has checked out two. Do you know the price yet? Do you know the price? I know it's saying 79.95, which all day long. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, when I, I thought the lowest price we'd go to would be that 44, and I've even and put that, was that up. before we felt them. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. This okay. Is, uh, 147. Crazy. We're down to less than 100 already. I think you know how naughty we're going to be, don't you? I don't think you do, actually. No, in fact, have a sit down if it's safe to do so. I think you are, um, and again, we do have the beautiful French wire coming up for you to finish off perfectly. Multi buyers are coming in at us at every avenue, every direction. We're being attacked by people going for multi buys. Okay, do you know what then? Let's do it, Liam. We are ready. No, we're not. We, uh, do you know what? This is a Christmas Day strand. Get ready for this. You'll be amazed. You'll be pleased. You'll be delighted. <laughs> what could just be? <sighs> Twenty. Right. Look at my necklace again, please. And look at the price point. <laughs> right. I went to a shop in Sherbourne, in Dorset. There was a strand of shell pearls in the in the in a necklace in the window. They were over thirty. I think they were thirty nine ninety nine, and they were shell pearls. Mm -hmm. Twenty nine ninety five. Do message in and tell us what you think. Are you happy? I should think you are. I did say we've gone to under hundred already. Okay then, basketeers, you know who you are. Jonathan, Madeline, Margaret, Susan, Wendy, collectors left, right, and centre. Marilyn, Christine, Jane, collector. What are you doing in your baskets? Collector, Dawn, Helen, Nicola. We're actually oversubscribed. Yeah. So, if, in fact, I say oversubscribed. If you all check out, I think I've got about seven or eight left. I know that's trying to catch up with you. <laughs> it can't. It's like it's like it just can't keep up. But do you agree? They look fabulous. Yeah. They are. I would have no problem putting those in a bridal piece that was going to be oh, an absolutely. heirloom that would be handed down. Oh, yeah. This, is, know, this is legacy jewellery. This is the kind of jewellery yeah. you... It, it's one of those, isn't it? It's like, um, isn't it that awkward conversation when you start to speak to an, an ageing relative? Who's getting that? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit like, oh, are you thinking of leaving that? To, Do you mind? I'm still here. Um, <laughs> Sarah's message did, is it our Sarah? She said, oh yes, got mine. You chuffed with the price, darling. Look at that, with the, now that's with the Larimar and the gold. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And can I just say, the, yes, you um, can. the elastic that comes in our standard threading pack goes through the drill hole. The 0.8 mil elastic, 
does. Yeah. Does it? Which means you can make pearl stretchy bracelets, which is, you know, that difficult is a, to do. That is amazing. So the kit that we did earlier, there was a kit we had yeah. earlier that had a threading pack in it that sold out, sorry. Mm. But normally a 0.8mm stretchy elastic doesn't go through the pearls, does it? No. Wow. And the Larimar. Oh, yeah. Is it Julie? Julie or Julie? Julie! Woohoo! Got my happy days, Julie and Warmly. She's my neighbour. You're, gonna, you're just going to be so happy when you get them home. They are they're they amazing. They get more beautiful the more yeah. you look at them. They, they do. They really do. I mean, you know, normally gemstones have to be mined. They have to be, uh, they have to be cut. They have to be polished. This is Mother Nature at her very best, isn't it? This is the wonderful beauty of Mother Nature. This is a 60-day money-back guarantee as well. The ultimate status symbol. Known as the queen of gems, in inverted comma, uh, commas, they've been coveted for centuries. Coveted. This is one of those gemstones. You've made it when you own a strand of pearls. Mm. Yeah. And um, Leslie said, hi, JM team. Bought one strand. Saw the price. I've added another one. Will yeah. look great with Larimar. Do you want to Oh, I've moved the Larimar, haven't I? But you can see it with the Larimar there. It will. And I don't blame you getting two. I do not blame. Right now, look at the numbers now, you lovely lot. Little Nudgerama, okay, because Linda's just come in on the phone and bought two. A collector from Greater Manchester has just come in on... You see that? Can we have the call screen up? Would you mind, team? Because, yeah, because if you look there, look, you see that's... Oops, a daisy. Oh, the mm. okie koki. Do you see there, look, Linda, collector, Eleanor and Pamela, the last four people have bought on the phone, they've all had two each. Yeah. So that's eight gone. So we've only got to have eight, 16, 24. You've only got to have four more people do that, and you know, I mean, Pretty much gone. Um, well done, well done. Now, I'm just going to give a nudge to Tracy, to Dawn, to collectors in Greater London, Jane, Christine, Susan, Margaret, Jonathan, Lynn, Maggie. You can't be surprised. Are you shocked by the price? There are 53 pearls on here. That's 26 pairs of earrings. Oops. Oh, Kaz. Yippee! I've now got a big... Beaming smile. This has been such a fabulous show, ladies and gents. Do you know what, Kaz? I'm glad I told you we'd turn that half a smile in, didn't didn't I? I told you because she missed out on the Larimar. Mm. There's no Larimar. There's no non bounce back as they're on the web, Liam. No, I didn't think there would. But you never know, Karen. Keep looking, Kaz. But I'm glad we've turned that half a smile into a great big beam. I said we would, didn't I? Okay, we're now 21 available, 20 available. Um, now, just since we've been speaking, Cindy's checked out, Rachel's checked out, she's just had two. That's another three just gone. Um, but yeah, well, well done on those amazing, amazing, amazing. And the thing is, pearls never go out of style. What do you want, Michael? I just needed Liam. Oh, you needed Liam. Oh, sorry, darling. I thought you needed me. It's sorry, right. sweetie. It's all right. So, um, can you just give us a, a. When we're less than 10, can you tell us, Liam? So I can keep everybody updated. We're nearly there, but well done. <coughs> so what have we got that goes with pearls? Mm, everything. Everything. <laughs> everything. Do you want to do the spray or the findings or the silk or the guardians or the wire? The sterling silver first. Do I want to show you something about that we've got in this kit, look? We've only got the head pins with the pearls on the end. These are gorgeous, aren't they? They are, aren't they? Yeah. Look really at these. Lovely. There's two sets of the head pins. The standard bore head pin. We'll say standard, the sterling silver. But I want to show you just the pearls, first of all, on the head pins and the... Look. So look those there. are your head pins with the ball on the end that we normally do. And then these, you get these four beautiful pearl-topped head pins. I mean, so bridal. Mm -hmm. I haven't finished, right? There are two... Four, six bolt ring clasps. Yeah. How does that happen? That's, that's amazing. Six bolt ring clasps. These beautiful. Look at these. Look at these spacers. Wow. Spacers. Nice. Crimps and crimp covers, of course. You can't do it. You can't do jewellery in sterling silver like this without crimps and the crimp cover, can you? So the crimp and the crimp cover and jump rings and two pairs of shepherd hogs as well. What an amazing findings kit that is. Well, yeah, there's, there's pearls on the head pins. There's six... 
Gemma and I've just stopped and Gemma's just giggled, <laughs> sniggered even, at the price. Because it is actually laughable. It is. Um, to be honest, just the head pins just, with yeah. the pearls are worth that. Yep. Right, this is good news. We've got 150 chances. 12 dollars <laughs> 12 dollars oh, oh, no, you just hit your funny bone. Oh, my God. Oh, dear. He's just bashed his elbow. MVRF 31. There's good news. There's good news. We are not restricting you at all on the number of those that you want. Because Collectors had two, Lynn's had two, Sabine's had two, Tracy's had three, Collectors had two, and the list goes on. So, 12 95 Have you seen the ground white as well? 4.42 grams of sterling so I love these head pins though, do you? They're amazing. They're so pretty, you get four of those. Mm. So four of those, four of the boar head pins, you've got your crimps and your crimp cups. I love the size of these spacers. Now you know, Gemma was just talking about the stretchy elastic that we had in the kit earlier. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of size that you'd put in to hide the elastic knot, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah that's exactly what I'm... What I'm doing now, actually, hiding the knot with Is that what you're doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that you can hide the knot with the crimp cover. You can hide the knot with one of those big spacers. You've got this. Is what's brilliant as well. Now, if you think about it, we talk about a minimum of five pounds added to a design with sterling silver. The six of those—that's thirty pounds potential just in the bolt ring clasps, isn't yeah, it? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 That's, it's it's such great value. Yeah. Like I said, I would. I would happily pay that price just for the head pins because of that pearl element and they're so unique and so high end, you know, they're really gonna add a lot of value. What? They're so cute. Um, <laughs> can you buy twelve ninety five by forty? I look at her so I think she's so lovely. Yeah, I was mouthing to Link, can you buy a thing by forty? And he was like, What? <laughs> We're at thirty two P for a pearl head pin. I don't even know how we're doing that. This is, okay, this is proving massively popular. Now, I did promise you as well that we do, um, oh, we've got such lovely pearls. I'm, I'm so surrounded by goodies here, I don't even know which way to turn. Um, we do have the French wire, we do have the Guardians, we do have that. I love this, this is brilliant. So, we've got rose gold plate and yellow gold plate coming up, we've got everything. So, okay. So, now this is in a bag, so this might, if we, um, hang on. How many, is there any pearls left? Is there any, how many other pearls gone? Have we got any left? We have a few, a few of the pearls left. Okay, a few. So, I'm sorry, I'm sorry that they're in the bag, but you know that um, findings kit that we had with the earrings earlier in the silver? We've got it in the gold. So let me show you, look, we've got those fish hooks and the hoops in gold plate sterling silver. Now those big black squares, I'm glad we've got those in there. Don't throw those away, because those of you that aren't aware, those are anti-tarnishing squares, so you want to keep hold of those. So you've got hoops, you've got fish hooks, you've got jump rings, you've got head pins, you've got spacers, and you've got two pairs of shepherd hooks. It's a dedicated earrings findings pack in gold plated sterling silver. Now earlier on we had a fight, we had a kit with, with uh, Gemma with those earrings in uh, with some amber. In fact, if you want to see them with the amber, Gemma's just showing you a pair of the hoop earrings that she's made. Look, with the amber from the kit. Ooh. You just thread them onto the hoop. So thread them onto the hoop and that is it. Mm -hmm. And they just clip into position, don't they? Yeah, they're really comfortable those. They are really comfortable, yeah. Yeah. You've also got the fish hooks over there as well, haven't you, that you used? Yeah. This the, just the general so that's the shepherd, shepherd hooks. hooks. Um, and you've got the fish hooks as well next to you, look, over there. Right next to you to the right. That's it. Oh, are they not? They are. They're not on the image. Sorry, are they on the image? Yeah, I've got these, look. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's all right, darling. I've got well, I've got them in here. In the in here. <laughs> there you go. Look. Yeah. You just turn them to the side. Yeah. 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 So it comes with those as well. It does. You get one of the hoops and you get one of the fish hooks. Yeah. Okay. Twelve ninety-five. Now I don't know if there's any left. I'm so sorry, but we did have Gemma Crows, that lovely lady over there. Quick makes earrings DVD. It might have sold up. We did have it on the show early. If you want to have a little check back on the web. 
We've had sold one and a half thousand of the DVD. We might, I don't know if there's any left. Okay, we've got rose gold coming up as well. My clock stopped working in the studio, by the way. Hello. Mm. Right then. Now, most people, Gemma, am I right in thinking, either finish um, <coughs> particularly pearl necklaces off with French wire or silver guardians? Yes. Is that right? Yeah. Because, because you're protecting the, the, yeah. the thread, if, especially if you're using um, silk. silk. Yeah. yeah. So, we've got for you... We haven't had this silver French wire since 2019, October, at the tail end Gosh. of last year. Now, we very kindly had it added into the show today for you. So, we've got French wire. Now, what this beautiful French wire, how do you use it, Gemma? Because you don't need much, do you? No, so basically you need probably about a centimetre okay. um, of it. And you pop, your, pop it onto the end of your thread yeah. after you've finished beading. Pop it onto the end of the thread. And then you take that through the clasp and then double it back through okay. the, your crimp bead or loop. your yeah. knot or whatever. Okay. Um, so it just literally sits inside the uh, metal of the, of the connector for your clasp. Yeah. And it just protects the silk from rubbing on it. Because that's where it rubs. That's where it takes the most stress and the yeah. strain. That's the, you know, where we're doing up and undoing the, the, yeah. um, the, the, the jewellery. So, if you think about it right, 12 inches is 30 centimetres, you've got 20 pieces, so I work out that that's about 7.5 metres, is that right? 7.5 mm -hmm. metres, I think. So, if you worked out that out as a centimetre at each end, I think that's about 350 pieces of jewellery you can make. Yeah. Yeah. About that. About that. <laughs> about, yeah. For a... Liam! Wow. Right, this is fantastic. Right, get ready. Four ninety nine. The thing is as well, if you are making jewellery for yourself, if you're making jewellery to gift, if you're making jewellery, more importantly, to sell, you want to make sure that your jewellery lasts as long as it can do. Yeah. Oh, okay, no problem yet. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, we've just said it. Is, who was it? Was it Hazel? Hazel, I'm so sorry, I forgot to get back to you, I do apologise. As with many, many gemstones, the best way to clean your, both your Larimar and your Amber is with lukewarm, very gentle, soapy water. And, and just a lint-free cloth. I'm so sorry, Hazel, I forgot to get back to you. Sorry. Is that okay? So, um, yeah, so this will act as a force field, as a protector. The coils are extremely delicate, so um, they are virtually weightless. Um, so do handle them with care. You do need to do that because once you pull them or kink the wire, you'll never get it back to its original shape, will you, Gemma? No, you won't. No, you won't. You won't. But you yeah. know, you know what? It's 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 just it's very traditional used like that, and yes, yeah. you know, it gives you that sort of traditional mm. vintage look. Yeah. Um, and if you get asked to repair a piece, you'll often use that yeah. because it will match the other side, exactly. for example. Can I just ask Paul, have we got any, any old Liam, we've got any other photographs where we've got French wiring? To, because it would be, uh, we did have one last week. We d I don't know whether the, the, the guys will be able to find it, but uh, just to, to try and show you, I don't know if we, yeah. Um, it's just, it's just, just to show you at the end of the jewelry, it gives you such a prof professional finish, but even more so, it's got that practical usage as well. You only need a centimetre at each end, so you've got a big number of, and, and this is, it's the breaking point where, at, at the class where you put the loop in, which gets the most highest of the stress. So it's where the thread meets the clasp, you get a loop at the end, and so basically, right, what it looks like, it will look like this as it goes into the clasp, am I right Gemma, like that look. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, just have that little loop, it just protects the loop through yeah. the clasp, that's all. That's what it looks like, so it looks fabulous. <laughs> It yeah. gives you a professional finish, but more importantly, it extends the lifespan of your jewellery. Mm -hmm. Four ninety-five. So what you would put through there, most likely, is silk, isn't it? Yeah. If you're knotting. Yeah. Okay, we don't have much silk, but we do have some. Which what? We've got two bundles. Now, 
Liam put these together for you. I said to him, have you got any silk? And he went, I'll do you a bundle. And we said, oh, thanks. <laughs> so these are, now these are brilliant because they've got the needle built in, haven't they? Yes, which is an absolute lifesaver. So all you've got to remember with that is that you use the needle and you go right to the end of the thread to Oops. start because yep. you get two necklaces yeah. or four bracelets yep. out of that one thread. Because my understanding is there's two metres, so you could, should be able to knot a metre's worth of jewellery. Yeah, roughly. Yeah, roughly. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you've got here, look, t uh, two different sizes as well. The number two and the number six will dictate the size of the pearls you're going to work with. The needle is embedded with the thread. The grey is really on trend. Mm -hmm. You've got that beautiful sort of beige pink and the white, the classical white, which you can never go wrong with. And all of those colours, you'll either blend in on a pearl knot with the white pearls we've had today, the high luster deal of the day. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's any left. Um, or you could go with a contract. You see, I think the silver would look lovely. The silver would look lovely. Yeah. I, my, I love the um, peachy colour there. This one here. Yeah, because it feels traditional and yeah. quite vintage. Yeah. You could, if you wanted to, if the hole was big enough, you could use two or three and actually have like a multicoloured silk, couldn't you? You could. You absolutely could. And make yeah. knotting very easy then, because you just tie the yeah. two together. Absolutely. We've got... We've got one, and we do have the pearl spray. We do have the pearl spray. Have we got one of the white tip guardians? We've got those as well. Alternative to French wire. So what we've got here, number two and number four, you've got, oh, you've got all the sizes. So number two, number four, we'll give you the different sizes. Again, depicting with the pearls, you've got the grey, silver, and the white. And we'll match the price. We've got a little few more of this bundle. The other bundle sold out already. Four ninety-five. That's a great price. That's six meters of silk. And I tell, if you speak to our guest designers that pearl knot, this is their favourite, favourite, isn't it, Gemma? This is yeah. the silk to use. It's, it's so lovely to use. Yeah, it really is, and really easy with that needle on there. Mm-hmm. Yep, so you've yeah. got the embedded needle on there as well. Um, I don't have... Right, 60 we had. A lot of you multi-buying. How many left? About, about, just, mm, about, about 16 left. 16. BC XC 74. Okay. Can I just mention... Can I mention a quick... I've, I've got to say something. Now, Liam's let me um, tell you. This coming up with Gemma... Uh, Jenny. Sorry, Gemma. Mm -hmm. Jenny's like, Gemma's like, what? So, we're going to put this on pre-order right now. At 12 o'clock with our lovely presenter, Jenny. Okay. That super length strand, super length strand, super length strand, super length strand, super length strand. Five super length strands totaling 1,100 carats for £10. Oh, that got your head up, Gemma. Blimey. Blimey, she's in morning. <laughs> right, super length, super length, super... When I say super length, this is what I'm talking about. You ready? Right, and hold those up. That is a lot of gemstones for a £10 note, isn't it? <coughs> That's amazing. 12 o'clock today. It's on pre-order. What's your code? Oh, I've got the code. Have I got the code? Hang on a second. Have I got it? Have I got it? Where is it, sorry? I got it, I got it. YUXP94. Those strands are 8, eight 16, 24, th there's 4 metres of gemstones there <laughs> for a ten. <laughs> 12 o'clock today, we can pre-order now. All right? I find that. The Guardians. Oh, you darling. Ah, well, she's amazing. Right, you know those, these are the wire tip guardians. This is an alternative, thank you Gemma. Okay. This is an alternative to the French wire, which we're going to bring you now. There you have it, look. If I turn that round, there you go. Can you see that there? That is a sterling silver, what is known in the industry as a wire tip guardian. And I've got some of those coming up next. So the same idea as the French wire, but stepping it up a gear. Okay? Kicking it up a notch. We've got 20 left, or 20 in there. No, we've got 20. Thank you, Gemma, you're amazing. Thank you. Um, right, if I just borrow this board. We do have the town talk, pearl spray. I've been saying talk of the town all day. That was a movie, wasn't it? <laughs> talk of the town, wasn't it? Was that, um, wasn't, yeah, wasn't, we've got loads of pearls coming up. Have we? Yeah. 
Right, we've only got, I don't know what to, how long we got? About 25 minutes. Look, these are, oh, these are fantastic. Wire tip sterling silver guardians. You can put your silk through, you can put your slimmer wires through. We're going to go straight to your price. We don't have time to hang about for a fiver. That's and these brilliant. are sterling silver. So you've got 10 pieces of jewellery there, haven't you? Assuming yeah. you use one at each end. Yeah. These are fabulous, and I use these in um, macrame bracelets as well. When I'm attaching a macrame cord to like a high end oh, do you? Um, sort of center or connector, oh. then I use those because it just protects any thread that go, that's going through oh, metal. That's a, that's and a get great movement. idea. Yeah, and they just oh, they look nice. lovely too, don't they? Yeah, they're lovely. We love a wire tip guardian. Um, I must say as well, every time we get wire tip guardians, they come in, they sell out. They come in, they sell out. We cannot get enough of these th these beautiful. Mm. I mean, so far on Jewelry Maker, I think 11,000 uh, wire tip guardians have sold. 11,000. It is a massively popular, popular, pop, popular. We're going to be popular. Uh, Nikki says, I love wire guardians. I use them on CB pieces too. Yeah, yeah, do you know what? This isn't just for pearls. There's an expectation for pearls and high-end gemstones. But you use them where you want because, again, if you can elongate, it's like... It's like that force field that Luke tries to get through on the Death Planet, isn't it? In Star Wars. No, it is. That's what it's like. This gives you a force field. He does, doesn't he? He does. Can we do the spray? Do you mind? Okay, this is... Well, I love this spray for you. Talking about cleaning your pearls. So, there's 42 chances of your... <laughs> I love, like, the butler on the front. It's great. So, again, look at the website of Talk Town. Um, it is Talk Town, isn't it? Town Talk. I'll get it the wrong way around. Um, so, Town Talk, this product is so easy to use. A little tiny bit goes a long way. And it's a very unique formula. It is perfectly balanced to the pH of pearls. It gently removes any surface impurities that can be damaging to a pearl's natural lustre. So those high lustre pearls today, you want to be getting this spray. It comes with a cleaning cloth. So all you do is you spray the liquid onto the pearl jewellery. You take care not to wet the pearl silk, um, the silk or the cord if you can, because that might sort of, you know, um, sort of change the colour. Um, polish the pearl gently with the soft micro cloth, which I'm just going to show you inside. And, oh, it's even got a top hat on the box. That's so cute. I love this. Oh, this is a lovely gift for anybody that's got pearls. So there's your cleaning lint-free cloth that comes with it. So you just, I'll get, show you the spray. Hang on a second. There's your spray. I love, I love the whole marketing of this. I think it's gorgeous. Mm. Um, but also, that's all you do. Spray it, clean it off with the, with the cloth, and that's it. But also, if you want to, if you've got any mother of pearl or any costume jewellery, this is ideal for any of those. Wow. Okay. It's good, isn't it? That is really good. And you know, <clears throat> you know, if you're selling very high-end pieces, yeah. you know, this is a nice sort of little add-on you can offer to a customer. If they're buying lots of pieces for a wedding, you can say, I will give yeah, you a cleaning for free. Yeah, I think it's lovely idea that. Or... Yeah, you're working seven pounds. Oh, yeah. seven pounds into thing. Can I just show you, you know when we talk about taking pearls off at the end? Look at Mr. Town Talk's top tip. Can you get into that bit down at the bottom there? Look at this. It just proves what we say all the time. Look. Always put your pearls on after applying perfume, cosmetics and hairspray, not before, as you could damage your jewellery's luster in the process. We say that all the time here at Jewellery Maker, don't we? Pearls, last thing on, first thing you take off. Okay, it's really important. There's your, all the directions are on there as well, everything you need. Okay, would you like some more pearls? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's so lovely seeing pearls again. Right then, so. So, this size for your tiara twists and your hair combs and your tiaras and your headbands and your, in your um, fascinators. What's that thing you used to do with it, which I haven't seen you do for ages? Cinema. Cinema. Yeah. Oh, we need to bring cinema back. I love cinema. These are your three to four mil dainty pearls. Wow. We don't often get pearls that size. No, they're lovely. You know, they would be a nice size alongside the Larimar as well. Nice idea, yeah, I know. think you're right, yeah. 
Yeah. These are three to four mil. So if you get any six mil, seven mil, eight mil gemstones, these are going to look beautiful as well. Pretty, dainty. And again, if you're thinking, do you know what? I'm not sure about pearls. This is a nice way to make a lovely dainty little choker or one, two, three strand necklace or little mm -hmm. drop earrings. That on a little drop of sterling silver chain is the classical look that we make all the time, isn't it, Gemma? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, very simple, but again, very classic. Yeah. Look at that, 14.95. Now again, if you want to do what I do, look there, and have a stack of bracelets, which are, which are step, you see, look, different sizes? Mm -hmm. So that when you see face on, you can still see everything that's on the wrist. Okay? Yeah, well done. Very nice. Oh, I love the colours that we do. I love them, love them, love them, love them, love them. <coughs> Is there any of our day of the day pearls left? A few, 29.95, 29.95 we went on the high luster quality pearls, deal of the day. Okay, so there are a limited number available, do please check out those stunning high luster pearls for a mere 29.95, now look at these, it's so long since I've seen these pearls. Have I got the wrong ones? Oh, they are multicolored. Sorry, I didn't see multicolored in the description. Sorry, Gemma. I was going to say, it's just been so long since I've seen any multicolored pearls. They, these are lovely, aren't they? Again, they they're are really round. Really, yeah, absolutely near rounds. And I think what's lovely about these is these can be either really casual, it's the great thing, or really, really dressy. And I, I don't know about you, I think that I, I feel that I can get away with wearing multicolour pearls every single day of the week, mm. even casually with a pair of jeans, whereas my white pearls tend to be more dressy. Yeah. I feel like I have to be a bit more sophisticated with those. Yeah. Yeah. I know, I do know what you mean. Yeah. It just they feel a little bit more accessible, don't yeah, they? Yeah, absolutely, every day. yeah. But um, I, I love them and I, would gra I graduate the colours when I have them usually, so like an ombre. Oh, would you? Because there are darker purples yeah. within that pur the purpley tones. Absolutely agreed. And there are darker peaches within the peachy tones. I'd to see that, yeah. So they look nice like that. Yeah, they would. So um, we are going to give you a full length strand of 38 centimetres. See what I mean though, on the skin. For again, 34.95. We're really excelling ourselves on prices today, aren't we? Bernadette, hello lovely girl, hi ladies, I love love pearls, <laughs> JM pearls are great quality and the price is brilliant, my favourite gem, do you know what Bernadette, I'm glad you brought that cute word up, because we don't, you know, this is a lovely thing, the quality of our pearls, I think is, un is unmatchable, honestly, for the price and the value for money that we bring you, the quality of the pearls, the selection of the pearls, the sizes, the colour variations, the drill holes, the shapes, the, the styles, the, you know, we go classic, we go contemporary, we've got b wall we've got Baroque, we've got Potato, we've got b wall we've got, I think I said b wall before, we've got, what's it called, Keshi, Keshi. we've got Tahitian, we've got South Sea, yeah, you did hear me right, we do all of those. The golden Akoya pearls. Metallic pearls. Metallic pearls, fireball pearls, bead nucleated pearls. I mean, we do everything so here, many. don't we? The what, sorry? No, it's not a pearl, sorry. That's a motorbike. <laughs> Kawasaki. I didn't say Kawasaki. <laughs> That's what I thought you said. <laughs> <laughs> you did say no, Kawasaki. He no, did. He did. <laughs> I love you, Michael. Oh. Well, I tell you what. You know those um, that sterling silver findings kit we've just done for twelve ninety five. How about you just add those onto the sterling silver shepherd hooks, or add onto the um, chains that we've got coming up on Friday. You get both of those pendants, charms, earrings, whatever you'd like to use. They both have the uh, peg ready in situ look. Yeah, wouldn't that be lovely? Just just make one for uh, for just one of those. Can I show you on the neckline? So just one of those as a pendant and you just give to a friend. Just because they may have been shielding. They might be stuck at home. Might be feeling quite lonely. And if you okay. add in one, you just... 
I've got to say it. Can I say now, Liam? On Friday morning, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I've got to say it. On Friday morning, on the morning show with myself and Claire McDonald, we have got something that we're all trying to buy. We're not allowed to buy it ahead of time. We've got Amber in the shapes of all different styles of dinosaur. Can you, can you just have a quick, can somebody have a quick look at the schedule for Friday morning? See, see if we've got the list of what they are. They are amazing. Honestly, we can't and the sterling silver chains, there's rose. Honestly, we've got everything in the show on Friday morning. It's brilliant. They're so, they're so lovely. They're so lovely. Every, just to mention, every time we do an animal collection of amber, they just fly out the yeah, door, don't they? They're so popular. Yeah. So, t we've got the T-Rex we all want. A T-Rex? Stegosaurus. How <laughs> cute. Diplodocus. Diplodocus, I can never say that one. <laughs> oh, hang on. Can you pronounce it? <laughs> yeah, hang on. Triceratops. Triceratops. <laughs> He's joking. He's yeah, have you not watched Jurassic Park, Liam? That's not real. <laughs> all of those. Um, all of those coming up this, this, this Friday morning. We cannot wait. Oh. We cannot wait. Come on, Liam. So, if you'd like... Oh, isn't it lovely? Oh, these lovely little three... Are they three to four mil again? Five to four... Oh, five by four. Oh, okay. Now, Gemma, what would you tend to do with something like this? What would you do with these pearls? So, I, I'm just waiting to get a look at them, because I think... Are they like a rondelle shape? Let me show you. Look. Here we go. See, look. Little potato. Potato. Oh, yeah, they're lovely. See, they would look great as spaces in between yeah. the bigger size that we just had. Yeah. They'd look lovely in between, but, but also they're lovely, again, lovely for the tiered. When mm -hmm. you want to do a tiered mm -hmm. necklace, you, your top layer I generally do a bit smaller and then yeah. get, gradually get them larger. Uh, yeah. Excuse me, seven ninety five. Yes, Michael, go on. I'd say Shibori. You'd say Shibori to go with your Kawasaki? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we had some shibori uh, on the late show the other day in clearance, believe it or not. There might even be some on the late show this evening. With our, uh, yeah. So um, these are seven ninety five, Gemma. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. It isn't is it? ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Is. I mean, and again, just the, I mean, when we start doing bridal again, they do make the prettiest little sort of bridesmaid flower girl designs, don't they? As well. Yeah, and they absolutely. Were, they would make lovely, pretty flower uh, pearl flowers. They would, perfect in tiaras yep. and sprays and hair combs uh -huh. and things like that, gorgeous. You could make a real buttonhole. Yeah. Couldn't you? No, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know when you have a buttonhole with flowers, you could have a real buttonhole but with proper fl pearl yeah. flowers. Yeah, I did that for my mum's wedding. Did yeah. you? Yeah. Buttonholes Aww. with pearls and things, yeah. They're gorgeous. In fact, I'm thinking if you rosary link those with a 0.4 wire, you'd make the most beautiful, delicate chain. Just I was linked. listening to you, Gemma. I know it looked That's like right. I wasn't. I've done it to you today. I, no, I was listening. <laughs> I know what you said, but Liam was saying, "What do you think, Liam? I would. I'd keep. I'd keep watching. I'd keep hold of those. I would. It's up to you. You do what you fancy. <laughs> Where are they actually? Can I have a little look before we? Mm, they're completely different. Shall we? Shall we do it? Yeah. Let's do it. Should we do it as a star buy? We should do it now. I'll tell you what, let me show you these. We, we, we didn't think we were allowed to do them, but we are going to do them. Um, because, again, it's the most fantastic deal. I don't really want to take these off, but... Yeah, I'll take this off when, when we're in. Let me show you these, coming up in five minutes. Oh, they're gorgeous, too. They are gorgeous as well. Okay. Brand new strand today. Yeah, brand new pearls. We'll do them in five minutes as a star buy. Okay, I'll keep those there. Okay, just quickly then. Um, oh, see, now these are the ones that I would have as bracelets. I don't know about you. Are they? And drop here. You can't see because of I everything here, no, can you? I'm I can't sorry, see Gemma. Now it comes on screen. Oh, yeah. See, the rice beads, that yeah. shape's lovely. It and is, isn't it? If you are doing like multi strands, they're great to sort of make the different shapes, you know, because they, they've got that sort of more elongated yep. um, feel to them. And also lovely in drop earrings. Drop earrings, totally or agree. Or clusters yeah. or tassels, mm. because, because, you know, they just sort of finish. They've yep. got that lovely drop yep. shape. 
So, and these look really beautiful. Oh, I don't understand these prices at all today. They, they, today. These are Amazing. genuine freshwater pearls. Genuine. Twelve ninety five. And that is a, that's a longer than your average strand as well. 40 centimetres. Look how, look how many I'm hiding behind. That's a lot of pearls for 12.95, isn't it? Really, I think that's a very flattering shape. Mm. Those, those shape of pearls. Very flattering indeed. 12.95. I've got another treat we can get. Oh, these are cute. Oh, these are cute. Look at these. Keshi pearls, but but smaller than usual. So it gives you this really dainty, almost like, a, to me, I call them confetti pearls. Because mm. they do look like confetti, don't they? They do. And these, I love making flowers with these. Yeah. Because they look like little blossoms. They do, don't they? Yeah, they, yeah. they sit perfectly. Just a ring of five, whatever colour centre you want to accent an outfit or something, and they just look so delicate and so pretty. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, they are very pretty indeed. I'll be going under 20 again. These are Keshi pearls. These are a rare treat, Keshi pearls. And it's because when we started doing Keshi pearls at, here at Jewelry Maker, they were quite large Keshi pearls. And mm. if you want the Keshi sort of brand of pearls and that rarity, but you don't want such a big pearl, these are a fabulous alternative, aren't they? Yeah. Really lovely. 16.95. Right, when we bring you these pearls as a star buy, can I just give you a heads up? We've only got 63 chances. All right? And I think they're going to sell out like that. Okay, so get ready. Star buy. So, bright, fabulous, we've been so spoiled with pearls mm. today, haven't we? Again, they're exquisite. They are, that is a word I would use, magnificent, exquisite, breathtaking, high luster again, high luster is the shine that you get when the light reflects and mm. dances off the surface. These would look lovely with the deal of the day actually, wouldn't they? So the deal of the day were eight to nine. These are six to eight, okay? Six to eight mil, so a really, really wearable size, aren't they, Gemma? Yeah, I actually think this size is probably more suitable for bridal. I think you're right. Just a little right. bit more delicate. Yeah. But, I mean, and th they are of equal quality. Completely Absolutely. Yeah. equal, yeah. But obviously what we said to you before is remember, each time the millimetre goes up, it's about 20% minimum each time that millimetre goes up. So the others were eight, eight to nine mil. Mm -hmm. These are six to eight mil. It's a full 38 centimeter strap. I've got to wear them again. This is the thing. There's a, there's a, like a magnetic draw to pearls. You just, they want to be worn. Of course they do. They want to be on the skin. They perform, they react to, your, to the oils on your skin. So don't leave them in a jewelry drawer, please. Imagine being stuck in an oyster for all your life and you get unleashed and then you get thrown back straight back in a jewellery box again. You'll be like, no, thank you. <laughs> These are phenomenal. They, what, don't save them for best. The price we're going to, you don't have to save them for best. Wear them all the time. Wear them with your dressing gown. <laughs> and that's, that is what we're talking about. $24.95. Do you want to see them with the deal of the day? Yeah? yeah. So here's the necklace that we made. Our lovely in-house designers made. So thank you very much to Anne and Sue. Do you know what? I know what I would do. If I had both of those, I would just do a graduated necklace. Would you? Short, you know, smaller yeah. ones around the back. And then you could have two like that. Two whole necklaces that are graduated. Absolutely. That really classic look. Yeah. Perfect. Oh my. Can you believe? Do you want to know how many roughly? Hang on. I've got to try. I've got time. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 40, no way, 50, 52, 54, 56, 50, I've got 61.
pearls on that strand for $24.95. 41p a pound. 61 pearls. Dazzling. Look at the matching. Just on luster, on shine, on iridescence, on high luster, on size, on shape, on perfect surfaces. Everything about these pearls is spot on. 20, and I don't blame you, Tracy having three, and, and Sabine having three, and Lynn having two, and everybody. Well done, you. Amazing. 24 95 absolute steel deal. It really is, and they complement the deal of the day so well, so beautifully, because they're both high luster pearls mm -hmm. oh well, yeah. haven't we been spoiled today absolutely spoiled haven't rotten. we yeah spoiled yeah rotten amazing what what have we missed what oh no we did promise didn't we i'm so sorry everybody's been saying where's the rose gold findings i'm sorry 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 so it's what we had in the gold i believe yeah so just to mention just quickly Oh no, hang on a second. Oh dear. Oh, look at you. Look at it. Oh, hang on. It's quite, it's a little bit different. Two pairs of shepherd hooks. You get your six bolt ring clasps. You get your big spaces. You get your junk rings, crimps, and crimp covers. You get your boar head pins. And then you get these star head pins with cubic zirconia look. Oh, they're cute. You get those. I'm sorry to rush those, but there you go. You get those head pins as well. Oh, they're gorgeous. They are. You could bend those up and have those on the front of the pearls, couldn't you? You could. Apologies to rush those, everybody. I'm so sorry. But it's a 40-piece findings kit for $19.95. Now, just remember, is there any more deal of the day pearls left, Liam? If you want to check these deal of the day pearls, they are nearly gone. They're immense. They're amazing. Do please get them. Now, remember after the break, firstly, can I say thank you to Gemma Crow? You're welcome. Thank you. And you're back on our screens tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow evening, 6 till 8. Thank you very much for the new customer hour. Remember that five super strand deal for less than £10 is after the break. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you've previously purchased by looking at your order history.